The Liberia National Police Riot team has arrived here on the scene. As you can see, there are very heavy stone throwing between the two schools and also the uh, police. Has arrived on the on the scene, but the students have been very brutal with one another on the scene here on Twelfth Street in Sinko and they blocked this side of the road earlier on the police came and cleared this place as you can see there's a lot of stones being thrown here by students of the JJ Rowlands who clash with Tottenham uh, House students but we try to talk to our witnesses who we hope to talk to some of the so this is it you can see the stones from the scene no one needs to tell you that there was a huge 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 uh altercation fracas between the two schools whether it's two schools or People came from outside to invade the, the school. And all of that. Why are you delayed to, to, to have your business here at this time? The riot, what happened? 
Zero House and went there. Well, yeah. so, happy from my joy of playing basketball last week, Friday. Don't worry about it. Put a on lap. Some of the students go, oh, we are in the class, we have to do the speaker. Then it's like, you So one of our family students went. And of course, it's people. So it's time to get in here. Come here. So we went to our corner. So that went to our team. We're trying to post up on it. We want to give our student post. Start in the first one here. You slapped the principal. Yeah, it's coming up into a garden vest. So today we are playing the kind of step. Why are they ready to come up here? We're going to do this. And the police have to post up on it. We saw the police are there. We need a student. They got their door. They start taking a run. They increase the alcohol in the aisle. Right. I tried to kill. I told him I want to police put in the seats. They try to move, try to farm over. One of the police guys took part in the other people. He got there and done. So they try to pull out the open. So I want to say. Oh, so you have to escape the scene? Okay, thank you. So, but during the time of the two school, do you observe any uh, bad effect among the students or yeah, among yeah, the police that are sustained in the way? No, of the police are sustained in the way. No, it's not. So, that came as a result of the two school. Who is that? Z? Just listen to resident of so, students from which institution that stop the person from so on Friday. Tell us where exactly that happened. They had campus or they had the student winners. Yeah, they were hard on the day. So, the Hannah, they say, What have you? Your gentleman has taken test. Then, the campus is not the same. You don't know. I don't know why they say, 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 I don't know what I want to talk about. Yes, I know. You are going to tell your talk. So, that's how I tell you. I'm not saying 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 Resident of 12th Street said that uh, they were also affected from the scene. So this is it. Samuel, you know, he's the PR for the MCSS. So, you know, welcome to all the media. Tell us yeah, thank your you students. Me, Samuel, you know, uh, Director of Public Relations and Media Services, Thanks for having me. Thank you. All your students have been in the news, and we get to establish what exactly happened here. Can you just run I'm us glad through? you said that. Uh, even the media is here to establish what has happened. So we are investigating at the appropriate time, which I inform the public. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. So you have no idea about what happened here? We are investigating. Like I said, the matter is under investigation. We commend the government of the Republic of Liberia, especially the Liberal National Police. Yeah, I just think we are in class. Yeah, that's people here. I'll try to get us in class. I think we are ready to get us in class. Now, who are going to have a certain school? Like I said, a situation ensued between the students of the Olympia Southern High School and the Jurassic. So we are investigating. At the appropriate time, we shall inform the public. So when did the problem started? I said last week Friday. That has to be told. And uh, you said last week you've been investigating. It started last week Friday after normal working hours. All right? The situation is after normal working hours. So we are investigating. But we'll get back to the Are time. you aware of any principal being slapped by a student? Not my knowledge. 
We are investigating. Okay. We are waiting for the agents. Uh, investigation. Very soon. In the very soonest possible time, the public shall be informed. And what actions do you think you're going to take? The, the, the very necessary action. Okay. Okay. So okay. As based on, uh, that has caused Panamuno along this route, and it is still fear in the in the marketers, students, commuters. Here on 12th Street, so the the Liberian National Police. So small thing, right? I hear someone say, "Hey, you just done that." You know, so so we see that much. I won't go into the way. Understand? So 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 we see. Let's watch and see. Let's leave the politics for now. Let's leave the politics for now. Let's give our President Joseph Baka the chance to win. Now. Let's give him the chance to work. Let us allow the woman to work. He has an agenda. We know he means well for the people of Labiro and the people of Foya Lufa. Let's allow him to work. Like I said the other day, it is my pleasure to see the street of Foya pay. And that I'm going to do. Because we'll make sure we checkmate the government. The government must do it. That's why you voted for me. You voted for me to speak for you. And I will speak for you. No malice, no disrespect, nothing. But that's what the Constitution says. It's the president and for all of us. FOIA. I want to see electricity in FOIA. Our president is here. That's all I want. FOIA. I want to see purple water moves. But that water, this is the FOIA we're talking about. This is what I want to see. I want to see a foyer that will pay our children one fee, tuition fee, that must go to school. That's what I want. President Joseph Mabuaka, along with Mr. Lashmi um, Metal, I want to say welcome to our area. Mr. President, we are coming this early. We know how difficult it is. Thank you for taking in this room. We are very proud of the investment we have made in this country, and our determination is to encourage our investment. We've had a lot of discussion. We know there are some hurdles on the way, along the way, but we are committed to making sure that we resolve them to encourage the investment and that we will find the best way forward in the interest of the country and the investors. So we just assure him that there's nothing that's going to stop our relationship and to encourage and increase investment in Nigeria. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. And I'm very happy that I'm here in Liberia today to greet President Bokai for become after he became the president of Liberia. I'm not in since 2015, 16, 17 when he was vice president. And president reminded me of, of a letter which I wrote to him in 2018, January. And there I emphasized and I felt that he, he could only do it in 2018. Now, I'm very happy that he is president now. And we had a very fruitful, honest discussions today on the, first, on the prospects of Liberia for our summit. We are committed to invest. We have been here since 2005. And we remain the largest foreign investor and I believe we are the only for active foreign investor in this country since 2005. We have committed and we are delivering. People come and deliver, commit, but they are not fully delivered. So I'm very proud of my company, my team, my people, my hospital, that they believe in commitment and they believe in delivering their commitment. Our commitment is not 
limited to 15 million tons. Our commitment is going much beyond 15 million tons. It could be going beyond that. So that vision in this country. We need the support of the government. We need the support of community. We need our vision is to continue to grow. And by meeting with the president, I'm very happy from issues at the same time you see to our future. So I'm looking forward to your support, Mr. President. And I can assure you of our support and commitment to Liberia. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. And so, President Joseph Wakai. Oh, yes, I tell you. Spoon FM, Spoon TV, Spoon Entertainment, the Spoon Network, Spoon Radio. This is where you get your information every single day. And here we are dishing out Liberia's very best. And I'd like to say welcome to all of you across the world. Thanks for joining us tonight. We're here on another edition of the program, The Late Night Show, The Late Night Politics on Spoon. And this is where we talk about the happenings across the country. We talk about the issues affecting Liberians. We provide you the opportunity to weigh in your thoughts on those very issues as they unfold. And we are here every single night, six days a week, bringing you critical analysis on those different issues here. I'd like to say welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Nelson Collier. Yeah. On this uh, ninth day of April, yeah. 2024. Yeah. So let's move straight into it. Of course, uh, a lot to talk about here tonight. Uh, I want to say thanks to every every single person joining us here tonight. Thanks to all of you on YouTube, on Facebook, Spoon Talk Live uh, on YouTube, on, on Facebook, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and Super TV. Thanks to the folks joining us from... Um, from Radio Lane as well, we appreciate all of you across the country that are here with us, uh, and and it's always a pleasure having you on uh, to join the national discourse to have your say on those issues as they unfold. We are going to move on now and um, kind of share the program. Just before I bring uh, the crew on, I want to say kind of share the program as you come on tonight. Let's have a great show and. Um, let me bring Francis on. I see Francis is already here in the background. Uh, Francis, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have you on. Yeah, bro. Thanks for having me, man. Good morning to our folks in Liberia. Good evening. Uh, good afternoon, wherever you are. It's good to be here today, you know, and like Nelson says, there's a whole lot going on, and you already know what I'm, I'm going to be upset about. So let's get it started. <laughs> what do you what? What are you going to be upset about? Don't be upset. Uh, upset. Take your time, breathe in, breathe out. And sometimes you have to let it go. You know? <laughs> sometimes it's better not said. Some things are better not said. You know, it's, it's, it's just sometimes okay that you just let it go, Francis. Look, listen to this motivation. Let it go. Breathe in and breathe out and let it go. And well, don't talk about it. Go. Forget it, make it babu I, get it. Exactly. Our our country can be a laughing stock. Our country can be a laughing stock forever. Yeah. This We're gonna get into the issues. But again, Francis, it's good to have you on here tonight. I, I want us to take up time to recognize our folks, uh, those joining us. Rudolph is already backstage. Rudolph ain't coming on here, Jenna. That guy, that guy <laughs> could nerve with 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 well bunny. <laughs> I was trying to my What all about me? The guy could knife with that guy, and they said all kind of stuff here the other night. But um, it's good to be on here tonight. Uh, we, as we do, we're gonna move to the comment section, recognize a few of our folks that have joined us, and then uh, we get the show moving on. A lot to talk about. I'm hoping that we can exhaust everything we have on the plate for tonight. But Rudolph, you are you need a mute. 
you know, and and maybe reduce the volume of your um your reduce the volume of your um your monitor. Nelson, I have nothing on here. Everything is off. I don't know what you're talking about. No, but oh, <laughs> Sally, Vincent, you not start, you not start a problem here. I beg you. <laughs> So yeah, um, it's, it's very important that we talk about the issues and and Rudolph, I don't know, but you came in with a little bit of feedback, but it's a good thing that we're here tonight, man. And do you, thanks. Do you do you still hear it? A little bit, no, but no. I think it's I think it's much better. But uh, a little bit of feedback is what I, I got there. Uh, yeah, but um, yes, man, it's good to have you on Rudolph. We're back from a weekend, a weekend. Um. I don't know what I should say. It was a weekend from my end because the last time I checked, I was here on Sunday morning. And um, Sunday is usually the start of the week. We're in a week, new week. Once it hits Sunday, we're in a new week. But it's a good thing that we're here, man. And, and welcome, guys. Uh, I, I want us to go to the comment session and welcome a few of our Yeah, let me get it rolling over here with Fanta, Baka, Komine, Sharif. Welcome, Abraham Dennis. Welcome, Moses. I mean, Morris Moses Monga. Welcome, Abraham. Oh, God. Oh, God. Welcome, uh, Otina Rich Queen Va. Welcome, Emmanuel T. Dumbo Jr. Welcome, Kuo Swa. Welcome, Hipko Kasi. Welcome, Lusa Lusayu Cisco. Welcome. Shelton Flomo, welcome Eric McGill, welcome Evelyn Matthews, welcome um, Lavette Bondo says welcome James Cobo, uh, Co Cobo, welcome Seku Donzo, Harris Wakato Tua Jr., welcome Michelle Nietzsche, welcome Kamara Kama, welcome. Let me see. Ruth Alice Daisia, welcome. Tapir Toby, welcome. Bill Gotti Diallo. Uh, the name keep moving fast. Welcome. Let me just see YouTube. Natalia K. Hill, welcome. Alice Barn, welcome. Morris Day. Rose Sankale, Sankale welcome. Adama Baka Sharif, welcome. Salie Vincent, welcome. <laughs> Mr. Lee <Lin> Lakbar, <laughs> welcome. Uh, Rudolph, you see any new names? You can take it from there. Okay, I will just take it from because I, I think I, I have access to both Facebook and YouTube here. So I will, uh, I will start from Mincha Niche, welcome. Kamara Kama, welcome. Uh, Ruth Alice, Ruth Alice Deisia, welcome. Your your one got four names, but welcome. <laughs> and Amos Sonte Junior, he said he's he's watching from Rwanda. Welcome, welcome. Amandu Duno, welcome. Tapia Tobe, welcome. Uh, Vince K Baxter from Minnesota, welcome. Uh, James Davis, welcome from Pennsylvania. It said Bill. What Bill Bill Quay Diallo, welcome. Uh he said I am Fumba. Oh, sorry, Fumba Yan. Yeah, that's the I think that's the person's real name. Welcome. Uh Gamonde Zekia, welcome. I <laughs> said I am I am here too. Lucio Cisco, welcome. James Thomas King Senior, welcome. Evangelist George W. Magee Senior or Magee Senior, welcome. Serial Clements, welcome and good morning. Uh, Augustine N.D. Saki Senior, you are also welcome. Emma Zota, you are welcome. Uh, is it Koli, Koli Ezekiel Gabara, welcome. Kona East from Fifth Street, welcome. Kuko Watson, welcome. Uh, um, Alex Shea, he say hi guys, welcome. Makwe Masakwe, welcome. Uh, Moba Smo, welcome. Abraham Ziambo, welcome. Miller Charles from Jamaica Road, welcome. 
Uh, yeah, I think that is what I have here for now. Mary Finda Yuma, she said, hi, guys. Welcome. Yes, and I think that's what I have on here for now. Doris, Doris Benke, Joseph Kamara, you guys are all welcome. Thank you. Yeah, blessing, blessing. Welcome, Joseph Kamara, Deyonkonta, uh, Deyonkonta, Iyaniwa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, forgive us. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> You know, I think it was, it was last last week I said that it seems like some of these, these some of these guys have changed their name just to get all, all hat on it. Because at, at first the names were the names were, were not this difficult. But, <laughs> yeah, what happened now? <laughs> you know they, they can enjoy us messing up the name so they can be uh, 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 making fun of us. After Bam, Johnson. Bam, bam, bam. Welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, my man. I mean, how was the weekend, bro? I mean, I went went out this this gone weekend after like a month plus of not going anywhere, I just being home. Bro, bro I can't remember the last oh, time man. I went out. <laughs> but tomorrow, you know, I, I'm taking my family to Baltimore. Um, oh, you traveling tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, just you know, Baltimore. I'm, Wait, I'm in where Jersey. To, I'm what? in Jersey. Oh, you yeah, right, right about the bridge from Philly. So I'll be yeah, driving yeah. to Baltimore tomorrow. Um, for the day, I'll be coming back on on Wednesday. So, you know, taking the family there for a little day trip, overnight trip. That's, that's nice. Yeah. Me too, I, I, will be, be, I will be in the East Coast in May. I will be taking like a two weeks, like a two weeks vacation with my family too in May. Yeah. Okay. The East Coast. I will be in Rhode Island. I will, I will touch New York. I, I might even touch Jersey too. I, I mean, I'm not too sure. Yeah. When I will touch New York. I will touch Philadelphia. Uh, Rhode Island is where I will be stationed for the most part. Oh, okay. Yeah, my uncle in Rhode Island there. Yeah. But man, man, I got there ain't too much in the streets, man. Uh, man. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, right now I just chilly, focus. Uh, our man yeah. making all of us temper going high. But we bro, I know our own brother in like you know, say let it go, you get me about yourself, but that, this, no, guys, 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 let, let, let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. You know, I just, I just looking at you guys in the background. You're feeling welcoming the people now. You know, you're trying to take the show left. <laughs> you know, Francis came on the show, uh, resolved, you know, but, but we, you know, we, 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 we are hoping we can have a good show. Vasco is coming on as well. A lot of people say we should remove Vasco from the show. The people say, you know, Vasco, that sedition. And okay, Vasco, we'll see everybody here. Vasco can be talking. Vasco can be talking something that I feel of the government. No, you know, no. Uh, should I remove mean, this is not a government. So maybe, show. maybe one day we'll vote in the comment session. No, no. Maybe we'll have to vote. We'll have to do a, a, a vote in the comment session. Should we, should we keep Vasco or not? Should we, should we keep Rush or not? Should we That's keep it, uh, what, what, they, they comment? They will be, be kicked out. So don't even, even do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you what, there are a lot of seditions, seditions in the comment section as well. They will we vote. most okay, so, so on the platform. Wait. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's do Vasco for tonight. Should we keep Vasco? <laughs> <laughs> <coming for you. laughs> yeah, let us know in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but um, <clears throat> it's a good day and a, a good way to start another week. So, um, lots of things happening in the country. Uh, so many things are going on, but I'd like us to do our opening first, and then we're going to move to the issues. Um, then we're going to move to the issues. So, maybe we can, we can start with you, Francis, to do your opening. And then uh, we're going to move on to bring the updates and then we move into our discussion. Yeah, you know, um, so much been going on since the weekend and today and stuff like that. You know, I came, I was, my, my blood was boiling about this. Yeah, get called about thing. But before I even touch it, I want to go to what happened with the Tottenham High and the JJ Rowell student uh, situation today. I mean, I don't care who started what. You know, people say, oh, on Friday, JJ Rowell, uh, students slapped Tottenham House principal uh, in the ear because the students were taking 
told me how I was taking tests and they, and they were hosting the Olympics and they told me to turn the music down. They told me how to do one side throwing rocks. These are the students that we are talking about in Liberia. And regardless of who right or, or who wrong, these are the students. What gave you the right to slap a principal in his ear in the first place? I remember when, 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 when I was going to school in Liberia, my principal, Lucinda Carter, that Omar was so well respected that when she leaves SDA campus and arrives on another school campus, it's like the principal for that school is walking. So how respected that uh, Omar was. And all the principals do the same way. But now we're looking at these. Uh, seniors, these 12th graders that like, can barely read, they read at a ninth grade level. They read at a ninth grade level, not focusing on education, but focusing on war. Throwing rocks at each other today, at police. Even Cooper Hospital are right across the street, they had to shut that gate, acting like rebels. But see, that's what me I say. Anybody that want to make a lot of money carry private prison in, 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 in Liberia. If you look for investor, I'll be the first to sign up as an investor. Because those criminals, if they are caught on campus, I don't care if they, they, they are graduating high school, they should be locked up. Their barbaric behavior got to stop in our country. The white economic crowd code, so we're not only for people that are shooting guns, or people, we, 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 we don't want those people in, in our society or existing in our society, but we also don't want these people that we call so called future leaders to be acting like criminals, acting like thugs. Gangsters running the street, and you supposed to be a, a student? What is wrong with you? You can injure people. Look at that Omar Market man. I talk about her home. I don't know how market or whatever. The whole thing's poor. That is her home and her business. I know you that, that? Pers personally. I know her. That woman I lived her whole life struggling, trying to make ends meet, doing a little business, living over there. Young gangster and thuggers. Uh, uh, behavior went and destroyed the Omar uh, place. You could have seen as they hurt her or injure her kids or somebody or some passerby. You call yourself student. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It doesn't matter if uh, uh, General uh, did something uh, on Friday. I'm not excusing general behavior. Because you have no right to even put your hand on, 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 on an elderly person, a principal, went on your campus. If it's true, because that's why I heard. But I saw Tommy have behavior today. And that was ridiculous. I think that rep, I felt when I saw the video, I said, what going on again? We're, we're going to protest there again now. Then I found that students behaving that way. You know, brother, you know, Francis, it is sad. And for some of, for some of us who went to, to school, who went through high school, and who for the most part grew up in Liberia, and I mean, we understand this thing, right? Like, this whole Tomeha Jarrah war, I mean, it has been on for a long time. It's, it's not just, just starting. Like, I, I told you that I know that lady, right? So I live, my house is not too far from Jarrah campus. It's like just like a, a minute walk, and you'll be in in in, in Jarrah fence. You know, um, I don't know if you know those two schools like that, but Tomeha is... One of the largest M's that I mean, government so, the public school. Because uh, when school. it comes to public uh, public school, Tommy Howe was back then. Tommy Howe was like the equivalent of St. Patrick's. Okay. Uh, you see, they all they had like similar bash, but Tommy Howe was burgundy, and St. Patrick was like green and stuff. So Tommy yeah. Howe was like the, the the equivalent of, of St. Patrick's. The how we used to view it. Uh, so uh, and then and then the, and then then the other school 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 junior rivals is known as one of the biggest private schools yeah. where you see a lot of government officials case and stuff like that. that. Children, they always so, be there, yeah. So so most of the time, and I was surprised that it uh I better we love uh internet not interneting but anyway until he come back guys that was ridiculous but you see when we talk about respecting the elderly also let me just come now to, to my crypto to the crypto night. Yeke Koluba, dishonorable Yeke Koluba. District 10, Montserrado County, this is your representative. And this is who you are. You are Yeke, and Yeke is you. So you are you 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 are who represent you. 
You know, people, the, 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 people, the, 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 the people that have no shame and no morals anymore will come out and say, oh, what, what, you gotta not say all of this when, 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 when Yekka uh, was, was defending the party, but this is not about party. It's not about party. Be a man and defend your the issue. The people that posted the picture and were making all these allegations against Yekka and for that girl, but, I can care uh, less about uh, Yekka's uh, sex uh, life. Uh, I can care less. And I, I'm not saying that Yekka is, is dating that girl, whatever the case may be. That's not the issue. But as a man, Yekka you should be ashamed of yourself to go after defenseless women. And you ain't got no shame. You're not even a man to sit there and, 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 and say, oh, the president should have spoken up about that incident. Why is the president focused on your social media issue? The person that posted that stuff on social media, what does it have to do with the president? And you demand that the president should have spoken up on your behalf? What kind of nonsense is that? And you cursing women, cursing the first lady, cursing uh, 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 Glenny and, and other people? This is number 10. Most of County. It doesn't matter. This man has nothing to offer you. Okay, what? Okay, just tell me, what was the last time he argued any policy or any bill that he said, this is number 10, this is good for us, the people blacking AO, but this is why I want to put on the floor for the argument. What was the last time he said that to y'all? But y'all was still on there and said, oh, you get for all? You see, he just called Joseph Baka. He, he said, he's not scared of nobody. No, 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 no. He think you're for a fool because he said, you're not, you're not smart enough to know that he's not doing anything in the house as a lawmaker. He's not co-sponsoring any bill. He's not sponsoring any bill. But so lawyer, yeah, he's costing any leader. You are saying, yeah, care for the people. He's not for the people. He's embarrassing the nation and embarrassing you guys. In I know a lot of you are intelligent people. This is your thing. Look at Oro uh, 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 over there. I've been in the Oro era over there. This is your thing. It's big. A lot of intelligent people over there. High school graduate, college graduate. But Yeke Koluba is you. And you are Yeke Koluba. That means an embarrassment. He can defend the issue. So he go after Thank defenseless you. women, our mothers. Why would he do something like that? Let him cross the guy that posted the picture. Let him cross the people that come after him. But you will sit there saying, oh, you're for us because he crossed it on the president and his wife? You should be ashamed of yourself to even have that man representing you. Come on now. Thank you, Francis. Thanks a lot for your input. Uh, that's your opening statement. We appreciate you. Uh, Ruth, if you want to... Uh, do your opening quickly. Just take one minute, 30 seconds or so. Sure, sure, do your sure. opening as we try to uh, move on now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, it is nice being here again, guys. Uh, I mean, we we have witnessed a lot during the weekend. I mean, a lot has happened. And this is the space where we come on to talk about critical na national issues. So, yes, I look forward to a good conversation tonight. Um, I look look forward to having the audience being very inter interactive like they, they like they have always been again tonight. Thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you, Rudolf. Thanks for uh, your input tonight. Thanks for your contribution on the show. Yeah, so um, lots of things going on in the country. There are lots of happenings. A lot has been happening, and of course. Uh, just to come in quickly with some of the updates, uh, because we have a lot on the plate for tonight. Um, well, the first thing to talk about is the, uh, the order from the court. A lot of you have been following today closely uh, the decision from the court. Uh, so many of you are aware that the asset recovery team had an issue. They went out to effectuate their duty following the issuance of executive order number 126 by the president. And then um, they started to impound vehicles. And in the process, they impounded several vehicles belonging to the gracious wrath. Well, taking out the GSA, long story short, court got involved. Uh, there is a prohibition from the court putting a, a halt to the entire process. Uh, mediated uh, the asset recovery team to give the vehicles back, and uh, uh, a conference is called. Uh, the court gives Gracious Rad uh, five days to come come forward with all requisite documents. And why this is in the process, five days uh, reaches or uh, passes by, and then the institution according to information, fails to provide the requisite document. And then the court orders the asset recovery team to go ahead and um, impound all the vehicles. And even the one that I didn't take before, they should take everything, you know, and 
and all of that. So that's been one of the issues today. There has been different interpretations of the court order. <clears throat> and I don't know. And, and maybe it depends on where you sit. Um, folks have interpreted what the court order is in, in so many different ways. Well, uh, that's that's the training issue in the country right now. A lot have been said about that, but we will make some analysis around it as well. Let me bring our sister Shirley on. Shirley, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on tonight. Thank you, okay. Nelson. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Can I so, do my opinion too? Because Frank said opening was, I mean, the passion from him voice and i was just like who who is francis talking to oakless i mean yeah. francis, is, francis is ready tonight once you get his opening like that he is ready for the night so it's gonna yeah. be a show tonight yeah so um i just thought to uh come in with the updates but you, you can you can give a quick opening just just do your quick opening there we well, I want to say hello to everyone, um, everyone in the comment section on YouTube, via Radio Land. I want to say hi to everyone in Liberia. Uh, and I first want to start by saying, please do share this um, live broadcast tonight. We appreciate all of you in the comment section. I think I probably miss you guys saying hi to everyone. But... Hello, everyone in the comment section, and I look forward to a great show. I think I'm, I kind of felt off the energy of uh, Francis from his opening, you know, statement or opening thoughts. So I'm looking forward to discussing Liberia tonight. Well, thank you. Um, thanks a lot, Shirley, and uh, thank you for that opening. Well, so just to go back a little, and um, so... That's that's one of the uh, happenings. Uh, talking about the latest decision from uh, the court, the order from the court, and so uh, what sort of asset recovery team are we about to see, and what does this say about the entire process? Well, that's something to talk about. Um, on the flip side, um, the uh, most of you are aware that uh, we are at a point right now where the budget is a ma major point of discussion. The other day we came up with uh, uh, some of what's captured in the budget for the different sectors and all of that. And um, as we speak, some uh, discussions have already begun. So the 55th legislature has commenced the fiscal year 2024 budget hearing. So, uh, the legislative budget of the 55th legislature was unveiled. Uh, the calendar of events for the uh, this year uh, draft national budget hearing with a primary focus on revenue component of the budget. So um, in the coming days, we're about to see different ministries and agencies appearing at the legislature uh, to say exactly how they use what was entrusted into their care uh, over the past one year. How did they use it, the allotment? Did they get it in the first place? How did they use it? And then uh, why should the legislature, um, um, you know, pass X, Y, Z amount that has been captured in the budget for them or if there's any need for increment, why should their budgets be increased? So these are that are discussions that are about to take up. So, uh, so this is something that is about to start. The, the the budget hearing is about to take off. So you have, for example, uh, let me just bring you a, a few here. So you have day one. You have day two of the budget hearing is scheduled for Tuesday which is today, and um, they will be featuring presentation from uh, agencies like the Liberia Maritime Authority, the Liberia Telecommunications Authority, the National Fisheries Authority, um, and you have the Forestry Development Authority and the Ministry of Transport. So these are the uh, entities or the agencies that will be appearing on today uh, for the budget hearing. So on Wednesday, which will be on the 10th of uh, April, the spotlight will be on another batch of government 
uh, agencies. So you have the Ministry of Commerce, for example, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Justice, Liberia Immigration Service, Liberia National Police. Yeah, the police have always complained about the need for their budget to be increased. So um, all those entities will fall in line for the third day, and then the fourth day we'll see presentation from Ministry of Public Works, uh, Ministry of Internal Affairs, and, and a lot more. So this is what we're going to see uh, in the coming days. So while this discussion is going on, the, uh, the Liberia Business Association is calling on the national legislature to increase the allotment for support uh, of Liberian-owned businesses. So um, they are saying that the current 25,000 United States dollars placed in the proposed budget is a drop in the ocean. And um, so they want the legislature to see reason to increase that so that they in return will be able to uh, push on to support um, other activities when it comes to librarian owned businesses. Nothing, 25,000 for support to library businesses? No, so currently, oh, is the same thing, my goodness. <laughs> no, no, I'm coming. What what is captured in here is twenty. Uh, sorry, two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, it was oh, okay. Really, uh, okay. Twenty five thousand. Still, 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 still a joke. Yeah. So for the Liberia Business Association, two hundred fifty thousand. 250,000. So the chairperson of this organization is uh, um, uh, the chairperson on trade and commerce is Dominic Nimle. And uh, he says uh, the $25,000, uh, the, sorry, $250,000 that has been placed in the budget, in the proposed budget, is just a drop in the ocean that if the uh, institution, the Liberia Business Association should function well. That money is just a drop in the ocean. The legislature will have to increase uh, whatever, uh, increase increase it to whatever amount that will help, uh, you know, support what they're supposed to be doing. But again, it's important because this is an institution that uh, should be championing the cause for Liberian businesses. Uh, Liberians who are into business should be able to go and uh, through the help of uh, Libra, for example, they should be able to get uh, some financial assistance. You know, once it is established how those people are, are, you know, operating all of that, they should be able to get some sort of financial assistance or whatever to get their businesses moving, you know. But 250000 he says, that's a drop in the ocean. And um, yes, so uh, those are few of the many happenings. Well, there has been different interpretations of uh, uh, this issue with uh, the decision from the court. Um, there was a rail-up today from a former information minister, former uh, maritime boss, who said that this recent order from the court means that the asset recovery lost the case. I guess some of you um, have seen that particular uh, you know, write-up. He said it means that the asset recovery lost the case, you know, and it's a slap in the face. It's unfortunate, in fact, how they're proceeding with this entire process. So, um, yes, and a lot happening. The discussion about war and economic crimes court in the country is still ongoing. Um, that discussion is still uh, going on. There's a group called the Coalition for the Establishment of War and Economic Crimes Court in Liberia, and they are expressing concerns over the apparent delay of political will to, to uh, accelerate the establishment of the court in the country. And um, they, they reminded the president of his, his comment during his inaugural address when he vowed to establish the court in Liberia. And they're saying that since then, not much has been done by the president to establish the court. So uh, they, they are... Uh, urging or calling on the president to make good his proclamation that he will end impunity in the country and um, promote the rule of law by manifesting, you know, uh, everything he can 
to get uh, to get that uh, war crime school thing becoming a reality. And then next up, we discussed this issue with uh, Liberians in Ghana. Um, the process is on. They uh, they are expected to appear in court on the 11th. The 11th is going to be on um, so on Thursday. So uh, the team has been dis dispatched there. And, and so our officials of government, the Liberian Embassy in Ghana, is contemplating on settling that issue out of court. Since, in fact, uh, those in charge uh, have classified Liberians on the camp as uh, people who are, who are trespassing. So um, they've taken them to court. And the government of Liberia is, is, is looking forward to settling that matter out of the court. Since, in fact, the issue with Liberians living in Ghana since after the Civil War has been a major issue. So these are some of the issues. These are some of the happenings in the country. And uh, I want to say welcome to the show. I, I, let's let's kickstart the conversation um, with this latest. Nelson, that, that was a lot you cover. There is a lot. <laughs> So yeah, we we we, we hope we can, sure we can break it down and know which one we're trying to do first. But and, man, yeah, man, so, and you know what? He and he didn't even touch on our press conference, Benel. Yeah, you didn't touch on some of the stuff that Francis was so yeah, passionate about. I mean, and you know, <laughs> and went, it was come on in the comment section calling my brother screaming, but that's how he thought is something that's really really getting to him. So he's not screaming at anybody. He just want to make sure that he can get his point across. So Nelson, my brother, did his ultimate best to get his point across. So I think we should start with one of what he talked about. Nelson, you kept talking you know, about, about twenty-five thousand. Are you you having that money somewhere? Like you just looking at it? Yeah, you looking at the number. Yeah, yeah, you bring it. No, just let all the money. Let me check. Let me check. check. Yeah, but but it's important, you know. Uh, uh, intentionally, I decided not to not to uh, you know go to that issue because um, I feel that like for every time we talk about it, we're trying to you know elevate. But but again, um, let me say this. Most of the, yeah, most of the folks have been following this issue. Um, the images are surfaced on online about uh, the district ten lawmaker uh, having an interaction with a minor, a, a female believed to be a minor, um, in the public space, uh, especially right before a, um, a hotel, royal hotel. There, there is, there is an impression. Uh, gather that um, that 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 interaction must have been something beyond what was seen on camera, and so um, the lawmaker has been dragged on the social media with respect to what surfaced. He he initially said he would have responded to that on Sunday, so he had a press conference yesterday, and um, as usual, he went on and insulted and you know said the words and everything he could say about uh the women and every other person who have reacted to uh that th those images that have been surfacing on the social media and stuff like that so the district 10 lawmaker said he's, he's ready to fight you know and um and it's, it's not strange you know because this is who he's been over the years you know and yeah but he responded. Let me put it that way. He responded. So um, we're going to move in now with the discussion. So talking about the war crimes code thing, there's something that the uh, Senate Pro Tem posted on her social media handle. Madam uh, Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence. I mean, I want to say welcome to the show. Masha Territory, it's good to have you on tonight. Um, so this is what Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence posted. Uh, it's good that I read this out just before we move on to the other discussion. She says, breaking, the public is invited to follow the Senate session tomorrow, Tuesday, April 9, 2024, as a major decision will be taken on calls 
for the establishment of the War and F Economic Crimes Court, the Senate notes the Senate notes the concern of the public with respect to the establishment of the War and Economic Crimes Court. However, members of the Senate have uh, relied on advice from members of the Committee on Judiciary Defense and uh, Judiciary Defense and uh, Judiciary Defense Security and Intelligence. The public, uh, the public can can be assured that uh, just as they are concerned and interested in ending the culture of impunity in Liberia, senators are also interested in ending what has been a long-standing issue of, of impunity, but has keen has been keen on taking the appropriate steps. All right. So below, yeah. So I didn't capture that portion, but uh, she was sitting there uh, having an interaction when uh, she took a photo of that. So we, uh, I mean, and, and 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 I think we should take we should take the whole thing from here. Let, let, let's let's take the interaction from here. Then we're going to go to the other issue. I know the other issues are equally burning issues, but let's take the interaction from right here, and then we're going to move to the other aspects now. With this, you see here from uh, the Senate Pro Tem, the Senate Pro Tem, Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence. Uh, does this give any hope? I mean, let's let's make some analysis around what the Senate Pro Tem posted. Is there any green light? Do you foresee anything such as the Senate making some, uh, let's say, giving a check mark to this whole thing about the establishment of war and economic crimes court tomorrow? Tomorrow, like the Senate pro tem now is calling the attention of the public, inviting everyone uh, to the Liberian Senate because it has passed the lower house. It has passed the lower house. What it, where it's been stuck has been at the Senate. And over the time, the people who have been very vocal, some of whom have kicked against the issue with war crimes court, the establishment in the country, some of the very influential government officials, who have said that they don't want this war crime code, have been people in the Senate, have been those at the level so of the Senate. So you want to be war crime code? Bring your damn war crime code. Don't be speaking your stinking boy every day in the Senate. Thank you. Nobody... So, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry to our audience. You know, the other part of being by, yeah, sorry, that I blew here. But, but yeah, so for, for example, you saw, you, you heard Senator Prince Yelukbe Johnson right there. He's been one person who have kicked against that whole war crimes code thing, but not just him. There's another one from um, the Senator yeah, Yaya yeah. when he said, take it from there. Take it from there. It was not part <laughs> of your agenda. Take it up. Bring a war, uh, 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 settle the food business, settle the other issue. War and economic crime code, take it from your agenda. You're not tell people about it. So you, 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 a lot of you here saw that clip as well with what we see coming from Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence. Is it fair to say that, is, 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 is it gonna be a good analysis if you were to say that um, tomorrow, the Senate is gonna pass on this particular issue, War and Economic Crimes Court? I mean, what, what does this even say about the, this long standing discussion, something that has been on the stage for a very long time and, um, Having such a post from the protein. Let, let, let's start with you on this one, um, Francis. I mean, you know, just reading the beginning of our of our post, I think they're looking for a cop out. They're looking to take the coward way out of, of passing this resolution. But I'm cautiously optimistic that it will pass. But just reading, as you kept reading. I kept going back and forth like ping pong in my head, like what the woman trying to say? Is she trying to get ahead of the rage of the librarian people by putting their posts out so they can get it out of their system and today before tomorrow they come and say, oh, due to security reason, blah, 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 give some coward uh, response and say we can't pass the resolution at this time, whatever the case may be. You know, it just, it just um, you know, that's, I, it didn't sit right with me, but I'm still optimistic that there's a, let's say, based on what I just, what you just read, uh, mm. I, I, I'm, I'm 
now like 30% confident that it will pass, uh, the resolution will pass, but hey, this is Liberia. Who the God can help us? Because the thing here is, Francis, uh, there has been an issue between even the, the lower house and the upper house. The lower house at some point, okay, following the passage, Vasco, I want to say welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. So following the passage, uh, there was one session, I think before their break, where there was a heated debate on the Senate floor. Sherry, you, 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 you can't be doing that to Vasco. Vasco needs to take all our dark glasses. Come on now. We can't even see her face. Vasco, I will see your face. Oh, Vasco, now. you're okay. You're okay. Vasco, you're okay. <laughs> you are just so, okay. Today, today I'm in my... <laughs> I'm a moon. I don't know who started from the chat room. I'm a moon today. Okay, so great, great Vasco. So uh, <laughs> th th there has been this heated. Th th there was this heated debate, right? So uh, some members of the upper house, the Senate, said, "Look, this is not a bill. This is a resolution coming from the lower house. And being a resolution, first of all, we need to establish." Why is this important? There were some senators who on that very day kicked against this entire thing about war crimes court. And I can tell you that lawmakers, to some extent, are divided on this particular Yo, what issue. what are these guys? Now, now, say, now, pause, pause for a second. Are you serious? I will remove those guys. They want to seriously distract us. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Yeah, so some of the guys were seriously uh, divided on that issue. But, you know, as time went by, they sent it to committee room. They said they want the committee to advise them on this. Well, the committee has done their work in the five days I was given to them. And they've reached a conclusion. But, uh, 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 Francis, if you go back to this, to this read up again, She's talking about the need for the committee to advise, and then she comes back to say that they need to end the culture of impunity. All right? She said, the Senate is concerned. The Senate notes the concerns of the public with respect to the establishment of the court. However, members of the Senate have relied on advice from the members of the committee on judiciary defense, security, and intelligence. Now she comes back to talk about ending the culture of impunity. Does, does anything the... suggest here that there's going to be a fight? Or do you see from any point here where maybe they've reached some sort of conclusion is just going to be execution tomorrow? Can, can, you, can you take that thing down? Who, is it, who's, the, who's the chairman on, 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 on defense? So, so uh, the chairman on, the... on security and defense is, uh, how do you call him? Um, 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 of of, of Lofa County, Momo Cyrus. Yeah, Momo Cyrus. Right? right? Momo Cyrus, defense and security. But you see, the thing the song said, they're trying to take the coward away out with the statement she, she, she put out. You know, she want to get ahead of the Liberian people rage. You know, let me put it out there. People start judging, uh, confusing themselves, thinking about what we're trying to say or what we're not saying. Blah blah mm. blah. We take advice from the committee. You know, all this stuff. Then they'll come tomorrow and say, "Oh, at this point, we can't pass this resolution." Blah blah blah. You know, but I'm just. Do you think it's going to be passed tomorrow? I'm, I'm, I'm right now. Like I said, I'm 30 percent optimistic that I will pass tomorrow, which is sad. But okay. this time, the entire country should be sure of what's going to happen. But that statement just confused a lot of people, including me. Okay, and, and, and I just want us to brush up on this a little bit, and then we, we are about to move to the other issues. But uh, let's hear from you, Shirley. G given what is what was uh, posted here by the the protest, do you do you do you think tomorrow the Senate is going to pass on this war crimes court thing? I think basically, I mean, after reading that, is it, she just saying that basically just. You know, have an open mind. Anything can happen tomorrow. It's possible that it can pass it. It's also possible that, you know, like Francis said, they can <laughs> just feel like, nope, it's not. So mm -hmm. just just making sure that she's preparing everyone that's so excited um, about, yes, they are 100% sure that the World Crown Court is easy for them to pass it. She's telling you that there is a possibility, so have an open mind tomorrow. 
Wow. So g g given the situation where some lawmakers have expressed uh, contrary views to this whole uh, call for the establishment of the court, you think it's going to be a soft right tomorrow? Is I mean, those people is is feasible of you know the things that they did because okay. it's it's kind of it's kind of like you know you you have a sassy wood. I mean, people from Liberia know that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, somebody see in the house and all of you in the house, and they're like, you know, we bring it in sassy wood, and you know that you lay in, do any seating or anything, you will you will be okay to go outside and be like, Yeah, I'm ready to take it. But if you know you put your hands in a cookie jar, you'll just be like, wait a minute, why are you bringing it? You try to come up with all type of stuff. I think that's what the other people that are against the world crime code, that's what they're doing. Their crime and the things that they did was so visible. Some of them were caught on video. Some of them were so proud to post the video. So I can understand that they, they feel that it is for them and they, against them, but the war crime code is for everybody to have a closure and move on. Mm. So, I mean, let, let, let's hear from you on this, Rudolph, and then we'll bring Emmy. We'll bring Vasco, and then Emmy will be the last. Yeah, Nelson, uh, I mean, I've, for me, I feel very positive from that post. That post I mean, unlike the others, uh, I have a positive outlook on it. You know, um, Article 1 of, of our, our Constitution says that the power is inherent in the people. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this this was a very strategic move by the Senate protein because, like we all just saw just now through the video, there are some senators who are kicking back. They don't want this thing to happen. Yeah. So by by the public presence tomorrow at the Senate, there is going going to be some level of pressure on those people. And even those 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 other ones who will will want to side with them, if the public was were not going to be around. So mm -hmm. I feel like calling the public. I mean, it's a step in the the right direction. This is this is her telling you that okay, I want want this. Other people want this, but there are other people who you guys voted for that are the problem behind this. So come, welcome. We want you 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 to come and look at them. As they they kick back this thing, and that pressure could and that that so 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 so, so Rudolph, are you saying yeah. that she's trying to she she's trying to give up uh, 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 the the rights of the senators who are kicking against this? She's calling the public like y'all can see y'all can yes. see all the people yes. who are kicking against this war crime yes. code. Y'all yes, can see Nelson. what they would do tomorrow. Yes, Nelson, that is. The... Do, do, do you see the possibility of a passage, Nelson? Yes, yes, and that is. I mean, the presence of the the public tomorrow is is going going to play a key role in the the passage of this this thing tomorrow. I mean, we may all 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 look at Nelson it like that oh, Yeah, but don't worry. I mean, until until Nelson comes comes back, I am in charge, right? I am I am speaking rather. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. You're almost yeah. done. So, I mean, yeah, okay. So, 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 so just a bugger like you. So this is a good move. Stand by her, you know, and, you, and, and you know, um, there are certain issues that you need the public buying. You need the public on your side. And this has been a very critical issue. And it's a catchy one. For ex example, Mr. Johnson, he, he has his own following. He has people who don't want it as well, just like him. So with the presence of the public, there is going to be some level of pressure put on those people tomorrow. And they will do the right thing. And, and thank you, for and, this. and before I can end, the reason I brought my dark shades tonight is because they seen with that uh Vasco wearing dark shades and he not not and I'm not seeing his eyeball. I won't wear I didn't wear him on the whole whole Koluba issue. I will not be looking at his eyeball. I hope we don't talk yeah. about like Koluba issue, but go ahead, yeah. Vasco. <laughs> we don't want to make him feel relevant tonight. We can Seriously. talk about things. As a, now your, now your hero that everyone discuss it, man. He's not our hero. He <laughs> not, not, Take him for free, okay? Okay, look. For me, I don't want to waste my time on this issue of the senators. I mean, I see no reason why Yomili Kanga would come out with a kind of a post. I mean, just come out with something short that tomorrow the Senate will be having a deliberation 
on the issue of the war crime code. So the public, the public is invited or they are invited, something like that. But coming with all those long, look, go tomorrow and do what you're supposed to do in the interest of the country. That's it. This is not playing the target thing. You got something you're supposed to do tomorrow. So, so what is wrong with her post being long? What is wrong with it? According to you now, okay, long. Post it make no sense. To you? To me. What, what is the essence of that post? And so what's in there that doesn't make sense? You got a function. You got a function. You got something to, to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the brain will be watching and listening to the mm -hmm. outcome of that meeting, of that of that or session. So no, no, you come in today. We're looking at what long writing. Oh, this, that, and you see the other picture. No, you'll go tomorrow and do what is right for the country. Either you 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 agree to that resolution, or don't agree to it. That two things you have to do tomorrow. We're not here for that long explanation. Coming all the bad public sympathy. So now, to you, what that thing mean? We we'll just we we'll just we we'll just stay here. We we'll speculate. Oh, she was trying to say this, or she was trying to say that. So we don't care. We want, tomorrow we'll be watching. We'll be listening. We you don't care for that place tomorrow. So majority of the people care. Say so you don't care. Don't speak for everybody. You know, so I, say I don't Thank care. You, uh, it, it make, it make, it make no sense. I mean, you are co-hosting right now, so let me call host, but you argue with me. You're the co-host, but you argue with me. You're the co-host, don't argue with me. You're the co-host, don't argue with me. I'm giving you a question. So what is, what, what, what is the logic of that? So, Vasco, are you here telling us Wait, 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 Judah. What is the logic of the post? If you have a function to do tomorrow, that we know that tomorrow you're going to deliberate on this issue of the war crime code. you got a resolution to pass or not to pass. So why are you coming out today to the public will put like a long something there? Why she what was she really trying to tell us? They tell only two things you gotta do. You know, you, okay, you thank you pass Pastor. it tomorrow or you don't pass it. So we don't care about our long writing. We will let tomorrow, her know. go there. We will tell her. Yeah, so, you um, tell um, us. Vasco, I don't don't know why why you were even <laughs> referred to those few sentences as long writing. I mean that that I mean that says a lot. But um, that is not my point. My point here is, are you telling the Liberian people that they, that, that their invitation is sent to the Liberian people? No, no. But that is what, that was the essence of the All right, thank you, Rula. So let's not begin to talk bad again. I'm in the pressing room. I'm in the pressing room. Can fit in that place. You you so, cannot you decide that. Thank you, guys. At least the listening. public know that they are welcome. All right. We're listening. And we'll watch it on the social media. No you need have, no need to protect no, I mean, our no. writing. Okay. Well, no, it means nothing. Hello, everyone. Uh, I wasn't actually listening to the show, so I don't know what topic you got discussing. I'm sorry. You just need to wait for the next topic. Right, wait for the next topic, Amy. You can go. <laughs> yeah, I'm done to the, I don't know nothing. Yeah, thank so, you. So, um, we go on with discussing a post that Senator Lawrence May. Mm -hmm. About um, that discussion was on their uh, uh, menu, so to speak, tomorrow. Uh, uh, and they will be discussing the war and economics crime court. Says so she's calling on all Liberians, I guess, mm -hmm. to show up and show out whatever and, and watch what, what they will decide on and something like that. So that was the input we're given. But since you don't know, I'm just going to pass you and we'll go to the next I, I one. Just say too much about After it. I get my synopsis, you already got it. So. <laughs> yeah, I already got it. I already got it. Cool. Vasco, <laughs> so, so, you call this thing long, uh, Reti? That thing not even long. But. Apparently, Vasco can read. That's why he called it long. You don't have money from Vasco. You put it in the book. You no. want to open it. I want to know the logic of that, of, of that, of that something. Just, just just just, thing, you, you already have your time. You have your time. You said we were asked for you. you. But go the, ahead, Miko. The, 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 the thing about the whole thing is, the lady just, uh, 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 I call it raising public awareness. And number one, everybody in our house, in our house of Senate, their vote should not be a secret. Every Liberian is supposed to know about it, period. That's why we send them there. So next time when we're judging people as to what Jaggy did when he was senator during this time of the year or during this time of Liberian, Liberian people life that he had a critical decision to make, what were your contributions to this whole thing? How can we judge you as a person or as a 
honorable men that will vote that you to go represent Liberia and help Liberia to grow. What were your vote on this? And this is very critical to the country of Liberia. This, this alone will contribute to the growth of that country. If we cannot set this right, we still have a problem. So, so our post is not ready to ridicule anybody or to show anything parts against anybody, but it's a public awareness to know, you know, how the Senate is going to vote about this individually. So that's what I got to say about it. And this will stay but, 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 on. Do, do you think this thing is going to pass tomorrow at the level of the Senate? I, I see no reason why it shouldn't pass. It should be like a flying quarter going. You no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm asking, uh, given the opposing views that have come up on this issue of war and economic crimes, do you think they're going to pass on this? Just quickly. Yes, I sure you will pass. Okay. Thank you, sir. I mean, you, 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 you want to weigh in your thoughts quickly, then we'll move to our other talking points. No, let's go on. Everybody okay. Already, let's go on. So today we saw the asset recovery team and uh, the court order. Okay. I think a lot of you um, already saw this particular document that came out today. Sorry, that's not it. Don't hold it for that. Okay. So this is the document. Yeah, we ready on your no? Um. <laughs> Oh my word. Uh you know that kind of thing and may you you put picture where you're not supposed to yeah, put the picture you put it on. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, checking you to now. Check. Dude. Yeah, so uh again, uh this is not it. So uh, I'm gonna get it coming from my end. The board the board are taking screenshot. So you on your own, Nelson. Screenshot has been taken. Uh, yeah, so but but today the court other the asset recovery team to go ahead to impound vehicles belonging to gracious rat now a lot of you are aware that gracious rat was giving um was giving five days a period of five days to come forward with the documents and everything they had in their position to authenticate their claim with respect to uh, the vehicles. And the court also talked about a conference that should be held with representative, the legal representatives of Grace, uh, Gracious Rad and that of uh, the assets recovery team. Well, following the conference, following the conclusion of the entire uh, five days period that was given to Gracious Rad, information is that the company could not prove beyond all reasonable doubts that they owned the vehicle. They could not provide documents that the, the fleet of vehicles in the possession of Gracious Rod actually belonged to the institution. The issue with the business registration document is a whole different thing all by itself. There's information that the institution is not even registered. Well, the other side of the argument is that, um, and, and I've been listening to folks making the argument as well, is that, oh, it's possible that the name Gracious Rod is registered on uh, a mother, on a mother body, you know, on a mother body, on another company. So um, obviously uh, the business registration would not be Gracious Rod, but it will bear the name of the mother body, right? But even in that case, then the next issue is it should not be Gracious Rod taking the asset recovery to court, but it should rather be uh, 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 the model body representing Gracious Rod going to court considering the document. And so there are other issues associated with this. But I want us to uh, make some analysis around this issue. And, and that's why I thought to put the document up First, let's read what came from the court today, and then um, we can go ahead and uh, make some analysis. I'm going to read it. It says, Councillor Ellen Claire Martin, uh, uh, Chairperson, the Asset Recovery Team, Monrovia, Liberia. Dear Councillor, in uh, okay, in regards to the gracious ride, uh, gracious ride by and through its manager, Francis T. Blambo of the City of Monrovia, Petitioner versus the Asset Recovery Tax Force, headed by Councillor Edwin Martin, also of the city of Monrovia, respondent, by 
Director of His Honor Yusuf D. Kaba, Associate Justice, pen, uh, presiding in chambers, and considering the, uh, he, uh, the attached communication from the respondent, you are hereby informed that the justice has declined to issue the writ prayed for by the petitioner, re, uh, reserving the right to the respondent to proceed in keeping with the law. So, reserving the right to the respondent. Who is the respondent in this case? The respondent in this case is the Asset Recovery Tax Force. The petitioner in this case is Gracious Rat. The court says Gracious Rat uh, Gracious Rat prayed for a rate of prohibition. The court said it, it has declined to issue that rate prayed for by the petitioner which is uh, Gracious Rat and now they are giving the go-ahead to the respondent to proceed in keeping with the law. Now, I want us to make some analysis around this because the first time the court took the decision to come up with the rate of prohibition to put a halt to the particular to, to the entire process, there were different analyses we made around that particular issue. A lot of people said that would have weakened the very function of the asset recovery team. It would have taken away from the morale that the asset recovery team should have gone into this entire thing with. Well, this is where we are. Let's hear your take on this. I, I'm, I'm going to bring you a post um, made by the former information minister, the steward of uh, the CDC, Mr. Eugene Nangwe. And um, his own interpretation of this latest decision here. But we can start to make our analysis around this. Let's start with you, Francis. Um, yeah, you see, so um, when the first when this incident occurred first uh, a few weeks ago, and then um, Krishna's Rod took the uh, asset recovery team to court, and the court put a, a stay on, on what they are doing. A lot of people came up uh, saying, "Oh, it's a blow." You see, um, they were wrong, and I said it that there's no guilty or not uh, or not guilty for the past. The court is only saying. Stop what you're doing. Let's uh, have a conference. Let's have the, let's have a discussion. So you can be discussing something and you continue on the act that was uh, that's supposed to be paused. Mm. But a lot of folks don't understand that, especially people from this uh, uh, opposition, saying, "Oh, that's a that's a blow. That's a blow to uh, to to the um, as a recovery team." But we see what happening now because they, they have uh, uh, um, some. Uh, uh, Valid, they have valid reason, but they, they, they did go about it the right way. That was the issue. And there's a uh, team that I just found that it doesn't matter how lawyers and all that stuff, people make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But now, fast forward to last week, the court asked Gracious Rod to bring your documents. Give them five days, they show up on Friday, no document for a single car. Now, today, according to this, once again, it's not a guilty or not guilty uh, 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 document that was presented. The court is only saying that the fact that you, couldn't, you can't provide uh, proof that you own those uh, vehicles, now, based on what the court saw in the conference they had, okay, as a recovery team, you can proceed with what you are doing, but do it according to the law. And that's why because uh, Martin and I, is, they, they are going to do what they're supposed to do according to the law. But my, so, my concern here is not even about what happened in court today. Uh -huh. It's about what happened outside of the court. The Liberian people, regardless of which uh, part uh, of the aisle you are from, my concern here is if you are driving your car in Liberia and you are pulled over or, or your car is uh, impounded and you do not have valid document to prove ownership of that car, you know that your car can be taken from you. I said it. Then now... Now, we are talking about a, 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 a of 60 cars, right? I'm not uh, uh, saying that Gracious Rye is guilty, uh, uh, is guilty or not guilty, right? But 
I want you, physicians, I want you to think about this. For the remote uh, possibility that those cars were illegally obtained and it yes. was supposed to be for the use of the Liberian people. And somebody took it for that personal gain. And, every, and, and you're not even uh, uh, angry about that. That there's a possibility that somebody took something that belongs to the Liberian people to use for themselves or for, the, uh, 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 for a group of people that's not benefiting your children, not benefiting your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, but you just ours in because it's United Party in, 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 in office and they are trying to recover assets. So we don't care what happened. We don't care if it is ambulance or fire trucks or something that is sold and use the money for themselves. So long as they represent my party, I'm okay with whatever happened. That's a scary thought to think that that's what happened in, in, in happening to our people in Liberia. That they would just dig their hair in the sand and say, I don't care. So long as CDC, I don't care what happened. That's scary. So they're not guilty or not guilty here, but we'll see what happened. Because the, you couldn't provide one document for a single car. But you have 60 cars. How do you obtain those cars? An average person with a taxi running in the street has to have all their documents intact. But a company that doesn't have a single document to prove ownership of 60 or I don't know how many cars. That is scary. And people should stop running around on party lines trying Thank to say, you. oh, this is my size, so I stick to it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Francis. And um, I want to pull this up just before we move uh, to Emmy. Let me pull this up here. So this is what uh, Mr. Eugene Nangwe wrote. And uh, he says, English how the government concedes, submit, and use. Then you say you want a case. Poor. Finda Nora Bundo. Go run your test. Yeah. You know, I, I like the way you put it. It's simple. No, 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 no. Francis, take your time. I, I like the way, I like the way, uh, you know, uh, former Minister Eugene Nanga put it in simple English. No, I like the way. Now, let, let, let me read again what he wrote. English, how the government concedes, submits, and youth, then you say you want a case. Pwa. No, I think that no bundle. Go run your test. Yeah. Now, what does it say? I mean, let, let, let's tie with you. Let's tie with you, Emmy. We're going to take Vasco next, and then we'll move on with the conversation. It's, it's going to get interesting every single step along the way. You are muted, Emmy. Yeah. So it's sad, Nelson. It's really is sad that these are the so-called leaders that some of our brothers and sisters depend on and listen to. The ones that lie to them, steal from them, use them to get to certain heights, and they be the doormats, right? Where in that Reading from the court that says that access recovery thing you are wrong for taking this woman's car. She provided every documents and everything is right and gave her her car back. What are you? What is this smoking? I mean, I don't get it. This is what some some of our so called panelists they, they like. Sometimes I don't even like to argue anymore, you know, because it's just useless. It's like you're beating on a dead horse. You you trying to get something in someone's head, but they have that court mentality, right? Like, no, but I'm for, brainwashed. Emmy, it's in my head. I'm brainwashed. And this is what my leader said. So this is what I believe. Even though he's I mean, do you head, agree with what, what uh, uh, Mr. Nangwe wrote here? That's what I just told you. He was misleading. And I and and I you were misleading these people. And I don't know what part of that. We we would love to see. That's what Mr. Nangwe said, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow's almost yeah. We'd love to see Finabono go and take in Hokka, yeah, and go around it. We we I, I would I'm, I love to see that. So maybe that's when people will know that 
this will keep playing not just CDC, but all the political parties as well in the country. Just use the, the you know, the, the gullibility of our people and the, the ones that don't know any better. Just use them and, and just feed them with red meat, right? They're supposed to be jumping on a, and one of my brother here from the second country today, the Jaro, he said, we don't know English. We see the really saying that the one because just because he has listened to Eugene Namwe, you see what I mean? So he, 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 let me not say much. Yeah, but he better show you that to you soon. So no, later. But this is what I'm talking about. It's sad, and it's really, really sad. So somebody not knowing English, I mean, apparently Eugene Namwe is the one who doesn't know English. I don't think it's the uh, the ones that no, no, but but, but Amy, again, what. There's the, the, the somebody, I mean, maybe, maybe somehow, some way, someone, something is missing here. Uh, and, and for the sake of this, this uh, post I just pulled up, I think we need to read this thing again. Maybe there's something here about this thing that we're not oh, understand. Nelson, my man, I already told you say English is hard. That's how they missed that. Oh, exactly. right yeah. right but, but, but maybe we need to so understand, understand something understand here. Vasco, just before we come to you, just before we come to you, Vasco. By directive of his owner, Yusuf D. Kaba, Justice, Associate Justice presiding in chambers, you are hereby cited to a conference. Okay, no, that the time they cited into the conference. Uh, yeah, that the time they cited into the conference. Let me let me leave that conference thing and go to the one that really made English hard for us so we can understand the thing here the right yeah. way. So we don't have we don't have English broken all of this. Okay, so I think this should be it. Uh okay, okay. Oh wow, wow, this is blur. This is not it. Uh I have lots lots of documents in this slide, so uh it's good I don't get I don't get anything here that's not supposed to come up. Let Vasco be, be going ahead. You know, but, but, but Vasco, go, go ahead. Start to make your analysis around this issue because it's very important. It's very important. Are we missing something here, Vasco? Is there is there anything that we're not understanding on this thing? Uh, you know, is there anything we need to read and reread to understand well? Did this rule, uh, this Nelson order from the court actually... Why you are reading? I'm, I'm did I'm this not... ruling... From the court actually say that uh yeah, Rachel's right won the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is it. Yeah, is yeah, it. Vasco. A directive of his owner, Yusuf D. Kaba. Associate the Justice. No, 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 guys, guys, don't you, you know you gotta give our brothers. A I talking oh, no, no. By directive of his owner, Yusuf D. Kaba, Associate Justice, presiding in chambers, and Considering the attached communication for the uh, from the uh, respondent, <laughs> you are hereby informed that the justice has declined to issue the rate prayed for by the petitioner, preserving the right to the respondent to proceed in keeping with the law. Va Vasco, reading through that thing, reading through that communication, did it say that uh, the gracious right won this case or not? I mean, let's hear your analysis of this particular issue, Vasco. And, and also comparing that to what uh, the former information minister, the former maritime boss, uh, 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 pull up. Thank you, Nelson. I mean, Today, today, today is a very sad day for mm. me to see our friends from the other side running with something, running with a ruling. Some other who, who don't even know anything about the law. Mm. But just looking at that statement alone, mm -hmm. people coming out here saying that, oh, the court, the court said that uh, the asset recovery team should go and seize all. Uh, gracious right vehicles amen we said something the last time yeah that this asset recovery thing they actually didn't understand what it was doing so everything they did prior to what happened now was wrong and people came here they said oh no this and that 
But at the end of the day, we saw the court telling them, so look, you gave those people cars back to them. So what the court is saying over there, from my own understanding, mm -hmm. because you know that there was a, a prohibition put to the whole thing, right? And there was a prohibition. Thank you. So, 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 so again, the prohibition was there pending the conference. So the court said before the conference, in five days' time, Gracious Raj should make available all the documentation to prove that the cars belong to them. And so they had the conference. Yeah. And Gracious Raj, according to information, could not convince the court, could not provide adequate documentation to prove that the vehicles belong to her. But equally so, Nelson. Yeah. Equally so. Mm. What that uh, uh, Rudy is telling us right now, that Rudy have nothing in there saying that go and get or go or uh, uh, arrest Gracious Rod vehicle. No. They telling your asset recovery team, go back and do your work. Well, you should do it in keeping with the law. The Gracious Rod those th these are all private citizen vehicle those are taxis taxi cab are moving around so you got to have your own evidence now mm. to go after gracious ride because gracious so, Rod, so 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 vasco let, let me understand something so is this saying that gracious Rod should come out with um, uh, let's say uh Asset recovery team is the court telling asset recovery team to come up with more evidence now before they can go after gracious rap. Thank you, Nelsie. If the court mm -hmm. tell you mm -hmm. in keeping with the law, yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. everything surrounding the law, you mm -hmm. know, you don't have any right to see any private citizen or vehicle mm -hmm. except the police that we all know that have that mm -hmm. right to stop vehicle. But you mm. on that asset recovery team, fine. If you want to go for a private person vehicle, you should have that evidence. In keeping with the law. In now, but, but, the but, law. But, but, are you also aware that the police is a member of this asset recovery team? The police is represented on the team. The, the, police, ministry, the ministry of Justice is represented yeah, there. But then, if, if that will happen, mm. you are police officers. Now, in my you are going quite away, stay in the street. To tell people vehicle pass on the side. This is no, this the government can be very careful with this. Because Texas, how do you know that Texas is government assets? Who can bring even 10 or 15 cars into the country without any proper documentation? Where are you bought those cars from? Are they making your cars in Liberia? That you just go to someone and store and take all the cars from there? We're all paying for them. We're all getting documents. So, 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 so the, the gracious rap people, they know what they're doing. We will not take any documentation or to the asset recovery team. We, no, we, but, but we, again, Vasco, again, Vasco. If they're taking us to court, if they have anything against the gracious rap, then bring the court in. That, that is where we're going to provide our documentation. Wow. Because now the breading of proof is last on the accuser. But are so you aware that the very court that you're asking, yeah, Vasco, are you aware that the very court you are asking um, asset recovery team to take gracious right to, are you aware that it is the court that is ordering the asset recovery team in this case to proceed? Now, let's let's, so let's go me. let's go to the proceed. Eh? Some yeah. of us will not know that they both been there, will not inside too much. Yeah. But to proceed, according to Google, when they say proceed, it means either to begin or to continue a course of action. But Nelson, it they said continue All right? is there. It's still out. Continue. Go read it again. So, it's continue. So, yeah, to begin now. or to no, continue a course of action. Okay. So in the case of beginning, so no, you're going to say that in the Yeah. To, to begin or continue a course of action that proceed the, the simplest definition of proceed when the court say to proceed proceed simply means continue to either begin a particular action or to continue a course of action so in this case 
as a recovery team already started a particular action so mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 second portion of that meaning that has to do with a uh, 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 continue is what is applicable in this case now so someone may say that the quote right here is saying to the asset recovery team continue the thing you are doing and so if asset recovery team is to continue so what are they continuing what did they do in the first place they arrested the uh, uh, uh vehicles belonging to gracious right I see. <laughs> this is very simple mm -hmm. continue on, continue on what you what you started mm -hmm. but when you when you go back to do it do it in keeping with the law the reason why they stop it because they were going against the law okay. Okay. So if they're sending them back now, when you're doing it now, do it. But you see, they rescue people. They're very smart. This was a long document given to these people. They, mm -hmm. just, took that shopper, mm -hmm. they just took that shopper and they read it. Now the one that you just put out using language, what this asset recovery team is submit. They're telling you that we were wrong. We, uh, we submit that we wrong for what we did. We didn't even do okay, it okay. So you we are saying the Eugene language document is different from the one uh, oh, that, that was posted today initially. Today the end, right? Today the end. Let me read that okay. chapter for you. So, however, however, yeah, I, I, I'm posting the one uh, posted by Eugene language. If Let you me guys go to don't rescue people, read that place. You will know where we're coming from. Okay, so so the, the, there it is, right on the screen there. Thank so you. which which where, where are you starting from? What, I as a tip. Paragraph, however, yes, second term. however, yes. respondent. Okay, let me read it. Fast call. Oh, you want to read it? No, no, read it. No, you read it. Are you bringing it? Let me read it. Okay, let me read it. No, Vasco, you read it. I think you read it. What if I call it? What you mean? Yeah. Respondent submit uh -huh. you to the petition impact and say that the authority of the court uh -huh. and appropriate law will be applied uh -huh. in consonant with due process and the rule of law. Uh -huh. So the two key words you take over the summit and you. So, so the respondent, the, you all know who is the respondent, right? When you said the respondent submit in so you. the respondent in this case is the asset recovery the team. Asset recovery the team. petitioner is uh the, the the how do you call it the the the, the, the gracious rat. But it's Thank very you. important, it's it's good you brought this up. Francis, I see your hand up. We'll make the rounds on this issue, but let me remove this thing because there's a portion of this document I want to project here and um say something about it real quick. Uh okay, so Miwa, mm -hmm. Miwa, respondent informs your honor and this honorable court that it will reserve its rights under the law to proceed with legal investigation. Mm -hmm. So, 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 Vasco, what's your interpretation of this whole thing we just read, and and, and maybe your own analysis around it? Nelson, is it a win for Gracious Rod or a win for the asset recovery team? Where exactly are we, Vasco? Nelson, it says anything that is not done properly is not done at all. Yeah. So this whole thing is not about who winning or who lose. Okay? Our point here is this. Go back. The court is telling these people, no, y'all go back. Everybody... Who told you we're going to support somebody that will steal government property or government asset? We will not support you. But when you want to do something, the money from these people started this thing, came here and said, it wasn't right. You don't just get in the street, sir, arresting people, taking the paxo, paxo. So then the court telling these people, the, the, mm. the entire thing about the whole stuff here is go back, do your thing. But when you're doing it now, do it the proper way. So you're not just seeing that grace of right again, tell us back. You are not. You are not. So, so okay, in conclusion, let's you take not. Uh, you let's are take not. Rudolph. We, we are taking Rudolph next. We are taking Rudolph next. So, Vasco, your interpretation here is that gracious right is going to go on with their business. 
uh as a recovery team is not going to impact any vehicle belonging to the gracious rat gracious rat will be running at tessie and they will go back and they see the tessie passing again then they stop the tessie then they'll ask for document when yeah. gracious rat people get a document then they say the document is not looking correct then i go to the court again then they go to the court again then the court the court calling for conference that's about to say that that's it that's it yeah Look, by law, one of the mm. police, eh? mm. one of the police, the Liberia National Police, have the right to stop a vehicle and ask maybe for your lesson and whatsoever. So if they are asset, because asset is a government asset, so which means that things that people store for government. So if you're going after these things, you need what? Evidence. So if you're going after those guys, you are going after it. You should know what you have in your possession as evidence. Wow. I will use strike. Nobody will say no. Thank you. Thank That's you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. That is my point. Um, let, let's hear from you, Rudolph. Let, let's hear your point, Rudolph. You think when they have Rachel Razi and, and we'll see your document. Pastor, they say Rudolph. If you say I stole. Yeah, like the Pastor, I know, I know you saw the, the solar eclipse today and uh, you. You had to wear that batch, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, but, but go know, ahead, let's hear your take on this. They have special stuff. Let me simplify this thing, Vasco. So, if you are eating, right? I mean, I am going to be as simple as possible. If you are eating your food, right, and then maybe I call you or somebody, or let's say, say Mr. We are call you because I'm your boss. He called you and said, Vasco, Vasco can I want you to do me something, right? And then you left your food and you went to him. And then you got done. He said, okay, Vasco, you can go by, go by and go continue what you were doing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. But that food... That food uh, no, no, Vasco, no, no, no. You can't bring that kind of example. Vasco, I see a simple and fast example, please. Go, go assets, to your assets. Wait, uh, and you going to go eating your food? Wait, and you going to go continue eating your food? Eh? In case flash ah. around the fool, you just go inside and say it In case flash around the fool, you just go say it again. Yeah, but so, in case it's so, like, the thing you talk to go do, what I told you to do, and then you come back and say, "Guys, I'm not going to say it anymore." I'm not going to say it anymore. 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 <laughs> okay, Vasco, what if you were going and you cover your food nicely? Mm -hmm. no, 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 listen, listen, my man. Tell our food as I'm afraid. No, 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 we have a lot to talk about something. tonight, man. <laughs> no, Nelson, I was just trying to be as simple as possible. So so mm. so so that Vasco can be too confused, like how he is. But anyway, okay. let's move, move forward. You know, um, Nelson, for me, it was, was quite troubling when I learned that this this business is not even, is not even registered, which means they have, they have not been, been paying taxes. So, I mean, this, for me, I don't don't care who wins or who who or who, who lost. But for me, my my what I think is that after this process, when those vehicles have been impounded lawfully, mm -hmm. I will I will, will want the, the government to sue this company again. For taxes, for the since they've been running, they have to pay taxes. Yes. That is what I will, I will, I will, I will want to, I will want to see happen. Because Nelson, ordinary people who just doing, uh, how do you call it? Say, um, what, where you can drive the car and then for certain year, then you, you, then you, then you pay. Uh, work and pay. Work and pay. Ordinary people who are, are doing work and pay on taxes to send their children to school to feed their family. They are paying taxes for their business. So all of like small, small shops, they are they are, are paying taxes. Th that company has over 30 plus vehicles, and they are not paying taxes. Do you you know how many money they are, are rubbing off from the government and its people? So I feel like after all of this, they should be sued and paid that all of those years that they have not been paying taxes, they should pay every single tax that. Thanks, Daddy. Oh, thank you. Mikael, go ahead. Let's hear you, sir. Well, uh, uh, thank you again, Nessie. Thank you. 
they show a rather great show tonight, and they kind of funny at the but you know this initial guy coming on so I ask like remember people what language you speak or the like, English yeah all that bullshit you talking how you understand nothing but the point here is this I said it from the beginning in this particular country that we live in because for me we're we, we living here now I've been here for 10 years now and see I can see what going on with playing with the Lord and all that if a vehicle or any property missing somewhere especially the car we drive missing somewhere in any part of this area and it described that car to the police and you're driving you happen to be driving somewhere down the street and your car just resembles that car they described you're gonna be stopped and you're gonna produce proper documentation for that car before you move or else they will impound that car until you bring your show ownership to that car or proof to that car before you even move the assets recovery i don't think like remember when it work they, they've been trying so hard to destroy what President Buaka has started, they're going to liberate Liberia in the long run. They've been trying to destroy it any way possible. And then somebody come here telling you, oh, you can understand English. Yeah, that did not rocket science. It's easy. Those people, the assets we currently uh, 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 seized their car from them, took it to the court for them to prove that this property belonged to us by the law, with the law, or whatever the law is. And they can't even provide fitting documentation to those to the property. And the court, they're going to sit there and say, as a recursion, don't do nothing with that. Yeah, proceed with your job until the, until the guy can show up what is it or the, whether they own their property. Proceed with what you're doing. So, Vasco, those guys will keep doing what they're doing. They can even arrest. So, 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 uh, uh, Mikael, let, 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 let me come to you a bit. Mm -hmm. This is where we were with Vasco. Mm -hmm. That whole portion of the, the Court order where they say proceed. Mm -hmm. What you, what what do you make of that aspect? Proceed when the court orders the asset recovery team to proceed. Right, but they, like I said, it's not rocket science. The English is very clear. When somebody mm -hmm. says proceed, whatever you are doing, proceed with it. It just simply tell you go ahead and do what you're doing. What if I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know because they put that proceed with the law or by the law, and that was confusing. Vasco okay, then. okay. <laughs> Who do you think is giving the right interpretation of this thing? Uh, considering what the narrative that the folks from the from um government, the, the government supporters are running with, to that of the narrative from uh Mr. Eugene Nagwe, who is not a supporter of this government, for him, he's clinching on to the portion that says, uh the respondent conceded, all right? Mm -hmm. The respondent conceded the third paragraph there, right on the screen. Okay. It said, however, respondent submits and mm -hmm. yields to the petition in part. Respondent submits and yields to the petition in part and says that the authority of the court and um appropriate laws will be applied so what do you make of that aspect and also coming back to compare to the to the as to, 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 to the portion where it says uh that the asset recovery team should proceed well nessie this is a legal uh uh, uh conversation we're having here i'm not a lawyer but oh, okay. it, the, yeah. you're an engineer yes but the particular thing we should not confuse this. This uh 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 high court, uh, we were near Mr. Rao had taken those people, had carried some documentation to the court. Whatever he told the court, the court yeah. simply look at the paperwork and say, Listen, they think you brought will decline everything on it until you can provide the proper information to us. But as I record you, continue doing what you're doing until the case is settled. So I don't know why we're making it so difficult for some person people can understand English and all that. That's enough. Rocket sign for the reason I try to prove faces. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks a lot, Mikael. Uh, Thank we uh, let's take our sister Shirley, then uh, we'll come back. I will give you 20, uh, 20 seconds, Emmy. I saw Francis had a point to make as well. We'll give uh, Francis 20 seconds as well. But but go ahead, let's hear you. I see Vasco putting his hand up. But Nelson, I think everyone I was listening in a simple okay. English proceed, container. That's like the same thing. So what's the argument about? I don't get it. I think I'm, I'm probably just lost. Like, what is the argument about? 
so why is someone is having a different interpretation of the word proceed or container even a five-year-old kid know that <laughs> so i don't know what the argument about so i'll just allow Amy and mr vasco who is putting his hand up maybe he want to make correction to himself he want to make sure that he can correct himself and probably tell or now that he understand what the word proceed mean or begin or container and it's like container what what you doing simple english that's what it means okay. so let fasco, let fasco correct himself because i think he's ready now to tell the people that he understand what the word proceed means thank you thank you um emmy you want to take your 20 seconds then we we move to vasco absolutely um so oh yeah help me jesus so um on this whole uh, um thing that Vasco saying the government was conceded that somebody just lost the election what i'm saying here is that when they when the court said that the assets recovery team should continue and go ahead and keep with the uh, on the rule of whatever i'm not reading it i'm just paraphrasing so my thinking is that i could be wrong that yeah. they was responding to that uh a part of the letter or part of the something they're saying that oh go and do that but do that and say okay i will from, i will do the one i will go and do this with in my opinion that's what it is but it doesn't mean that um oh you 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 oh, oh yes we are wrong and we sorry and something like my brother from the sakimochi was really i don't know what in that i say we are wrong and we and we, and we admit it then we suddenly like do the wrong thing no i think they are responding to what the, the letter is saying at right the last line where we all see and proceed and all of all of those other comments thank you thanks a lot um vasco you want to take a, a tw 20 seconds because we 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 were about to make the transition to the no, next okay, uh, 20 seconds ago though Certainly. I'm going to come to you, Francis. I mean, I don't want people to... I, I didn't say anything about the proceed stuff down there. So you agree with the aspect that has that, that, that says proceed? You agree that proceed. the court has given the I order... Didn't say, of, I didn't say anything different about the proceeding or, or, or stuff you guys talked about. What I was saying to proceed and what? Do the right thing. Yeah, the thing that's simple. What was that thing put to stop for? Thank because you. Because it wasn't done the right way. So Thank the you. People coming by and say, "Go ahead and do it now," but you will not do it the way you did it before. Do it good now. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, you want to take twenty seconds quickly yeah. so we transition? Yeah, Vasco. Further, you don't understand even why why they say stop. It's not proceed to do the right thing. We are all going to do the right thing. But first of all, when they took the car, the Fina Bon Bishop, I went to the court. So when something in front of the court, the action has to stop until investigation takes place. So the heart, the, uh, the, the, the asset recovery team, because there was a case in front of the court. So when it went to the court, the court investigated asset recovery and accused Gracious Rock of uh, uh, inappropriate behavior. Yeah. Well, so don't then, that's when the court said, great but for you, everything the opposite day. Because you started here saying, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, they, they had the right to stop. Only the court can ask for a document. They still Thank don't you. ask for a document. Did they provide that court document to the court? So okay. which you... court will ask for the document and which court will take the documents to? Press it. They think you're going to understand yourself. No, no. Thank you. you. Thank 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 you gotta go prove to the court. Okay, guys, guys, no, no. guys, but guys, we have, we have to move on. on. <laughs> guys, we have to move on. Jesus. I want to say, but, but, but on a serious it. note, let's let's move to our next talking point. Um, please, we are at the point please. right now. Please. We are at a stage right now, uh, where the country is concerned. Now, so many of you saw uh, what happened uh, some days ago. The images on the social media. I will not post the image up here because uh, of some reason, because of the way the, the public have, you know, going about this thing, gravity there towards uh, even dragging the female involved. But the image or the photo of a, the, the district and lawmaker and a female, the two are seen in the street 
uh one slide has the female uh getting uh, you know I think on the blur, blur that girl picture out. and uh, the next one the lawmaker up to the point where the female entered the car following that it has been insinuated oh let me bring Swari on it's been insinuated that the lawmaker has something intimate going on with this young female as a matter of fact the female was in her uniform the gentleman who took the photo made an appearance on the on, on, on the radio and he said that yes he took the photo he told them and uh, he noticed something going on and this lawmaker being someone who has been preaching equity preaching morality preaching against corruption he decided to tell them and then he was able to get what he wanted he took the photos and everything and so on the lawmaker says look i'm not going to respond to this issue now i would rather respond on sunday because this is something that has to do with me my integrity and all of that in the process well liberians across the world are waiting and uh, wanting to know what the response of the lawmaker will be since in fact this is something that both us on his integrity as a lawmaker well he goes to respond and he descends on several women in the country including the first lady well he says he, it doesn't matter who he sleeps with he can sleep with anyone it's none of a a big deal it shouldn't be anybody's business and, and and just to summarize the best the best suitable way i can you know but at the end of the day he has his own press conference discuss the issue the way he thought based on his response and some of the things he said and the people he mentioned some liberians take serious offense in the lawmakers representing Yeka Kolobas response. Um, some see him as being insultive, very demeaning, uh, thinking of the way he referred to those people. And um, why others think that this is the same hero who was the trailblazer yesterday, he's still the same person and he hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you guys make of this? Let's start with Francis on this issue. And then we're going to take um, Suarez since he's just coming. We take Vasco Emmy, and then we make the case like that. You see, first of all, it's a shame that, um, you know, when you talk about uh, this is a man that people are here as a hero. Now, brother Vasco is here nodding her affirmation to, to that. This is an embarrassment to our country. All right? So, and people was, and shame on every Liberian that said, oh, when he was in favor of unity party, or oh, you were happy. But one thing you got to fail to realize, I can care less about who Yeke uh, Kwaba uh, sleep with as long as that person is an adult. It's not a minor. And we don't know the age of that girl because we all know in Liberia you can be in high school and you're 18, 19, 20 years old. So I'm not even going to dwell on that part. I'm not excusing what happened. I, I'm not going to get into his uh, uh, personal life. But what happened, like I mentioned earlier uh, in my opening, that's why Liberia is a joke. And, and, and the only people that can do something about this Yeke Kolba man behavior is District 10. And I know that Digital 10 are not fools. The people of Digital 10 are not fools. You all see this man. You are asking McGill, since you've been in the house, what law has you put, uh, what bill has you put on the floor that will benefit Digital 10 or the library people? Or what bill have, have you co-sponsored that will benefit Digital 10 or library people? And he will tell you none. But all you have gotten from Yekia Koloba is noise, insults, and just disruption but you say oh yeah that you can we, we, we like so, so, someone may say the lawmaker just presented a bill uh, 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 a communication on the floor summoning the uh re requesting the plenary to summon the minister of state and he's expected to appear before the house of representatives tomorrow 
to, so to is, say why he denied President George, we are from making use of the executive lodge at the Robert International Airport. So in six years, nothing to, to, uh, to change the lives of the Liberian people. No bill. Your district 10 people house broken down and kicked out of their home because the court under George Weir ruled that the guy can take back his land. You have said nothing about it. You, we know you can't stop that from happening because that's a private citizen land that the court granted him. But at least as a lawmaker, speak on behalf of your people who have been displaced. You are uh -huh. saying nothing about it. But you go to, uh, to make noise about George we are returning to Liberia, want to use a presidential lounge, which is for the current president and his, and, and his foreign dignitaries. The, the VIP lounge is there. You are former president, you use the VIP lounge. The presidential lounge is for the current president. When you and program leave uh, uh, office, the next president, it will be for that president to use, and President Barker will use the VIP lounge. So everything that's been happening in the country, he as a lawmaker, there's nothing he can say about it. So the only time he know how to write is to write about why Judge Riley, uh, the star general, used the presidential lounge. Come on, then he's insulting this with 10 people. That's why I said District 10. Yeke is you guys, and you guys are Yeke because you have voted for him. And, and he has done nothing for this country, nothing for District 10. You, he is insulting women that have nothing to do with somebody taking his picture. You're insulting the First Lady, insulting other women. You're a lawmaker. The whole world is watching. And, and, and you're happy, and people will say, Oh, hey, he, he was for he, when he was for you, you were calling him a hero. But come on, we should have some morals, we should have some, some, some moral compass. We're not like the rest of the world. I remember when Liberia when you used to be walking and you see a guy beating a girl, everybody would say, My man, leave that girl alone. He doesn't stop, they would jump in and beat him up. But now, the open season on my course. Especially uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, called honorable. He's dishonorable. Abusing and women. You can't fight the person that posted your picture and you say this is war. And first of all, he openly threatened the life of the president. He should be arrested and investigated. I don't care if he's, re if he's released and sent home, but we know this attorney will say, oh, that one king, you see, they arrested him for saying the truth. But they will not even read between the lines. That means doing nothing for you. What we are doing on the platform, we are talking heads that come here and then give our opinion. And that's exactly what Yekin Kolba does. He never give, make any statement of facts. He just, his ELDC in the house. And you're letting him get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars while your children are suffering, sitting on, on, on the ground in school. Hospital got no drugs. But Yekin Kolba a talking head, a professional talking head. You're saying over there that cannot put one bill on the floor. Thank you, Francis. Come on, man. That should be a, 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 a sleep. Go ahead, Vasco. Let's hear you, sir. Okay, Nelson. Thank you so much for bringing this up. Um, first of all, let's establish a fight. Um, seeing somebody in the street. And just taking a picture on you to them, that is wrong. So the person that did that to the honorable man, taking a picture on you to him and putting it on the and social media. You know, and that and, was your right. Um, yeah, yeah, Vasco, let me just come in, right? Mm -hmm. It depends who, it depends where. All right. Uh and and ethically in terms of uh, media ethics and all of that, you as a public figure mm -hmm. cannot enter, it cannot be in a public space and say nobody should take your picture. There's something called expectation of privacy, mm -hmm. right? So if you, a public figure or whoever, let's say you're not even a public figure, but you're, you, like you're in a room with some folks, you want to discuss something private that you don't want to go out. Mm -hmm. If there are other people there, you ask those people to excuse you. 
-hmm. At that point, there's an expectation of privacy. You don't expect that while you and that person in that room, whatever will be discussed, will go out, right? But now where you're in a public space and, um, you know, you're having normal conversation, or let's say you're a public figure and somebody snap your folder and stuff like that. But but go ahead, make your point. <laughs> let, me, let me hear your take on this issue. So I see in a role from the from the honorable man. Huh. I didn't see anything wrong with the honorable man standing with a female in her uniform just in a public area. Even seeing a female entering entering the honorable car, I didn't see anything wrong down there. Nobody can hold the honorable responsible for any wrongdoing because okay. none of us know what happened. No, none of us yet know if the honorable man know this identical girl. So we just came out here and just start to conclude that this girl, you know, just something that everyone was just saying. And, you know, that is under our aspect. So I didn't see anything wrong. But that comes back to the honorable behavior. They see, they got a bar of, uh, I don't know, efficient forces or something. They say, three. What? what? I if think you should have right? No, 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 no. Once you call the bio voice, we got to. No, yeah, but you're helping. No, no, no. You call the bio voice. Okay, first of all, be sure of your bio voice. Okay, okay. You got the one I call Benny. I'm not calling the, the, the scripture. I will just no, no, no. read the first. No, but how do we know that coming from the Bible? Saying, no, it's efficient. It's for efficient. Efficient, efficient what? Four efficient what? Efficient four efficient verses. Four so the audience I is about to know whether Vasco can tell the truth. Read that. Or no, I get it. Bow on my phone here. So you say efficient what? Forces. That's four it. Forces. <laughs> no, don't rush the thing. We won't Go be check sure. it out. Uh, efficient forces. I go in there. Because <laughs> the one empire, the public will know if they Vasco. That's why I said I stand to be corrected. No, I'm don't have the answer to be corrected. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm going to efficient. I'm in efficient now. You said efficient chapter four verse six, something right? Like yeah, yeah, right. I got it. Not something like that. You gotta be sure. You own a public. I mean, Galatians efficient four four verse six. Galatians. Okay. I say efficient forces. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, <laughs> what what no, efficient forces say? No, because no, no, no. no. Let, let Basco tell us what efficient forces say. Eh? No, you are muted, Vasco. Please unmute Vasco. Let's let's do this thing. The people okay. are watching us. What what the Bible verse say? Let's see. Don't be so particular about the the the. the... The okay. scripture of the reading, right? That, that, okay. What I want to say, okay, I'm like a reading, okay, efficient. what a reading say, yes, okay. yes, they said, train, train up a child, very good, in a way that when he's grown up, he will, he will not, not depart, depart from it. But he said, Ephesians 4 says, Let me read what Ephesians 4 say. says, say. No, 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 Vasco, we gotta take our time on this. Thing. Nothing. Can you what, please? What I'm quoting here no way, way, way. I mean, way, I'm here exactly with the with the with the with the scripture. But then you're misleading the public, Vasco. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Know you know who it is? Okay, it is inefficient. I don't have to call so, it. So Vasco, your own bound voice. You say efficient forces train all yes. a child in a way. But we go to efficient forces and say one God. <laughs> <laughs> and father of all, who is above all, and 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 true all, and, 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 and the all. No, how, how can you how can you just see all like this? Yeah, it's it's inefficient. May I be a right, right. Let me say what I want to say. It's yeah, inefficient. Okay, okay. Try again. Tell us the part. No, yeah, no if you can give us the example, okay, okay. 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 James, James, James Walker say efficient six one. <laughs> James W. Walker. I'm not saying, I'm making a scripture. No, that's not what you're saying. Yeah, you said something I'm else. In my head at John 3, 16. <laughs> <laughs> but at least, thank you. Thank you for the correction, Francis. Oh, my God. Thank you for the correction. Oh, my God. But it is oh, It is not a proverb 22, 6. It's not. That's what I'm saying. Proverbs. I don't know the verse right there. 
Okay, but let me let me let me say what I want to say. I may mean, not be a zag now. Okay, say, so no, I apologize. I apologize for giving the wrong. I apologize. I apologize. Take that one back. But there is a wow. voice in the Bible that I just uh, read to you guys. That's Train good. up a child in a way that when that child grow up, he will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. So everything today that you see Yeke doing, when Yeke was born. The parents of Yeke was the United Party and the other opposition. They never gave their child the proper training. They sat down and they held this child. Their child came out and insulted leaders. Even the current president was one of the best friends of this child. Nobody spoke against the attitude and the behavior of the child. Today, the child has grown up in this kind of attitude. And now the child has turned around to the parents now and decide to exhibit the same attitude that they put in the child. Then today, people want to come here. How many times any of you guys on this uh, show spoke against Yaka attitude? I don't support Yaka abusing women. Yaka even insulted the vice president, Joy Taylor. Nobody, no women group, nobody said anything. Today, it has come right back. And some of us, we were here, we were saying this thing. We said it, Yaka men, today were your healing. They men will come back. Now, if you go on my page, I have made Yaka photo my profile picture. And Yaka have not changed to my own hero. And what I make you? Yaka have changed to we opposition, opposition, our yeah, hero. This is our new hero. We're not doing anything. CDC not doing nothing. We get two persons and come start talking for Prophet Key and Yaka Kuluba. We the CDC and won't get nothing to do, just saying I'm watching. And that's it. But the only time you will see all rising up, it will see anybody going against Yaka to say you won't go arrest Yaka or do this one to Yaka. That's the time we will come in to protect him. Because, President, we have passed the Adula K. Kabarov at free speech. And free I want speech you to plan to make you threat against somebody else's life. So, know what you're talking about. Don't bring that ignorance to our country. They may not be a threat against the President. We are like Sarah Stan. You know, you see, not just. No, no, no. Francis, no. mute. What we Francis. say here. No, it's a, no, no, all here support Yaka causing woman, causing but This is something that you put, people put into Yaka. You're left in America, you call your family back home to leave that district and go in Yaka district and register there to make Yaka to win. All of you in America, you put money together, you support the Yaka. Today, Yaka are within. And you can see it in their faces, right? You can see it in there. All of them discouraged, they feel it so right. Why would they see this here? You think we were, we were very hard when they were causing president? We are causing joy, I want to know, causing cloud. We are today, they, they say, ball bounce to change. So, what you expect us to do? So, 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 a uh, uh, Vasco, you as an individual, yeah, let's let's put the politics aside, all jokes aside. All you jokes. as an individual, yeah, do you support that approach? No, in yeah. our body politics, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't support you that. You are not. Let me bring video of you. No, let's see. Yeah. So, 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 if you don't For support me, that, why do you want? Me. Why do you want? Why do you want? Uh, why would you support this in the name of politics? If you, as an individual, you don't support that. Like I said earlier, on uh, I'm a sedition. Have you seen anybody from my party every press conference causing? We're not causing. No, no, guys, let, let's protect our brother yeah. Vasco. You guys are going to have your time. These Vasco, you have 20 seconds to conclude. These are the people that brought Yeke. For us, we wouldn't sit it by watching a movie. This is a big show. Yeke said a part one, right? And can we do a part two? I don't support him for insulting women, but we're watching the show. Hmm. Now, the show, we're just watching it. Thank you. Thank and you, we, sir. For all, what we're doing now. We, we're putting more fire 
So he can continue. We just be pushing fire. But, but you say you don't support you him. Don't support him. Yeah, yeah, don't him. Thank you, thank you, Vasco. Thank Did you. you Vasco. Let's, let's, and let's, 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 you let's hold you there, Vasco. And then um, oh, um time, right? let's, let's break in Shirley. Shirley. Oh, you said <laughs> now saying I don't want to talk about Yeka stuff because I'm not gonna make him feel relevant, and I'm not gonna comment on what Vasco is saying because he's contradicting himself. He doesn't know what he stands for because if you know what you stand for, it doesn't matter um, whether it was done in the past or CDCN or whoever. Vasco, what you stand for is what you stand for because a leader will always be a leader. So what you telling all Liberian and the 300, 500,000 people that are watching that you are a follower. So wherever the C dropped, there where you go. So I don't need to comment and I don't need to say nothing about Yeke. He's not relevant. Period. Thank you. Um, Rudolph? Yes. Um, you know, I mean, it is sad though that the only reason why Vasco has has um, has called Yeke his hero is because he abused women yesterday. The only reason why he has placed Yeke's photo on his profile is, is because he, he abused women yesterday. I mean, Vasco, let's be frank, and I'll be very honest with you. As a big brother, that says a lot about you, about who you are. I mean, let's let let's not even just hide you behind CDC. You as an individual, I mean, you you have kids, you have your family, you think for yourself, you think for your family. So if you are telling us that Yeke is now your hero because of what he is doing, that says a lot about you and what you stand for. And I, I will go further by saying men who who fight women or even abuse women, those are, are men who have low self-esteem and those are, are I mean, those are, 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 those are men who are insecure in, them, them, in themselves. And that goes as far as men who support those men who do, who do those things. Uh, but, you know, Nelson, I, I am one person who was, I mean, I have some doubts about what, what actually was, I mean, happened bet uh, between Yeke and that girl until I listened to his press conference. Because if you listen, he did not address that issue. He did, he did not. And we have ES on ground. We, from our sources, we have gotten to realize that this girl is, is 17 years old. She's not yet 18. The law of consent in Liberia is 18 years old. Yeke being a law lawmaker and 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 being, I mean, it's not not like he was he was giving her a ride. It, it was clear, Nelson. The girl came from came on a bike. Yeke went and paid the bike man and then put her in his car. That says a lot. I am calling on the the general ministry and the women groups in Liberia. You guys need to step in because this this is an issue. Even if that girl consented to whatever thing she and Yeke had going on. It is. It will still, still, still be be considered unlawful because of our age, and for him to tell us that because he's a lawmaker he can do anything, Nelson Yeke is is in a position of power and authority, so he can even influence the girl's parents not to go against him. We should also take that into to careful con consideration, and I am going to end by saying that with the level of insult that he he that he ran on the the first lady, Nelson. Let me be, I mean, I, what I am about to say is not of, of Spoon TV, it's of my own thought. Um, Tata, Tata is a big guy. I mean, he's a big man. Jojo is a big man. But Tata, but, but Tata specifically, he knows the street. He has, he has the, he has voice in the street. He has the capacity okay, so, to deal with so. Jake personally. And if I was in his position, I would, I, I would deal with him personally. Of Law or, or whatever. Wow. You cannot insult my mom like that, and I, and I, I let you walk through it. No, I will not do that. No, no but but again, I, I, I know you He's said. Well, there, you know. No, I, I, I know I'm what you said. Tell, tell, tell again, I know. Talk. No, 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 guys, guys, let's not go there, right? I, I know what Rudolph is saying. He just came up with a disclaimer that what he said is exclusively his view. It doesn't represent that of the Spoon Network. But again, um, 
the fact that we're using the airwaves, forget the numbers you see on social media across the four platforms that we stream it on. Thousands of people in radio lane across several frequencies now are listening to us. Now, in the spirit of democracy, yeah. respect for respect for rule of law, mm -hmm. respect for the very free speech, mm -hmm. a country governed by law. Do you think what you just said is yeah. the best approach Nothing. to any situation of such? As, as, and again, as an educated person, someone who sits here and represents so many young people who see you as a role model, do you think that view just expressed is the right approach? Nelson, Nelson, here is it. Uh, I mean, I'm an educated person, yes, but I am a human. I have feelings and I have emo emotions. And so I that's have, the emotional, no, that's the emotional in, side. Yes, and there are just certain lines that I don't allow people to cross with me. He, I mean, he's Nelson. Did you, you even listen to that re recording or that press conference? He went as as far as calling. Okay, let's, let's 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 not so, go half far. I go to like the like city you know. afterwards, but Nelson, I am am telling you lawfully. I, I mean, Tata is not a a, a government of peace. No, he is a son of the president. And like I, I said, I mean, I am not telling him to go and kill Yeke. I am telling him that. I will deal with Yeke in my own way. That's what I said. Okay, thank I you. Did not Thank not you. point out a specific way that he should deal with Yeke. I would. He should. He should do it how he, he sees fit. Thank you. That's all you there. Um, uh, Emmy, you want to come in? Oh, we tip. Yeah, no, Thank you. Um, guys. Um, Vasco doesn't have a problem with what Yeke is doing because he does it as well. So the same. Same, same person, first lady. But this is what people always, I don't know. These tradition, you know, the hypocrisy you always talk about. I don't know who has it. Y Yeke was the horrible person yesterday because he wasn't in President Wea. But mind you, President Wea were going after Yeke. Y'all were running after Yeke, trying to harm him, trying to do everything to him. That's what made the Liberian people to look at it as it was nothing. Because La Yeke was being harassed. Yeke was being threatened. Yeke compound was being shoot up, thrown every time it was an episode. And even during the registration, some of you are only life here, some of you that's sitting here. During the registration, I was in Liberia. The whole old road was on fire for you because of CDC bringing in people to register them. Pulling in people. Those same people that you're bust to register, believe it or not, Vasco. They were the one who turned around and voted for Yeke. And he said it. He said, y'all, the, the people you're bringing in the district to register, those people were turning around and voting for me. And those people got so agitated when they attacking Yeke and breaking people uh, 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 drug stores. I was there. And I was like, where did I come to? I thought I was in a little mini war zone. They brought these thugs on the street, market women, taking these people money, doing everything, harassing the, 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 the community. Just you bringing in truck for the people to register and Yeke is not doing anything. He's sitting at his house. You go they start harassing people all the way into the market, stealing people, breaking doors and that. I was there. I didn't say they say. I witnessed it myself. That's why I had people agitated and upset and people getting out of the Texas. We will come in this place and register and vote for this man. Why you can leave this one man alone? So nobody makes Yeke famous. Your tradition made him famous. Okay? So I don't even want a a, 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 a Tanta or whoever to give Yeke that relevance. What a a a a, a, a sedition has give uh, uh, give him and, and, and make people do something. Let the Liberian people see Yeke for who he is. Like, Yeke fool us with the attention that the CDC was giving him. All the the, the harassment, everything he was getting, us blindfolded, so we never saw what he. Now that we said, oh, he knew what he was doing, but he's not being. He not, he's not giving the space for him to do his people's job, for him to work, for him to do this. Now that he has the space, nobody chasing him. Nobody running after him. He's not bringing his family in the country because he's running after Tintin and putting school girls in the car. That is it. Nobody chasing. Nobody coming to his house doing anything. 
and look what he's still doing. That's why people have problem with it. not because because it's this person today or because it's this person today. I am not you know the party person. I am a Liberian, and I see what I what I saw going on with Yeke. I thought that it was unfair. Did I like the way he come up and speak about it? No, but I saw something. So he was still being treated unfairly. And you sit here, you do the same thing on your platform. You're talking about I just laying the foundation, I just digging where you did the same thing to the first lady. They want to come sit here and talk about you have problem so, with it, um, you had that kind of person. That's a lie from the pit of hell. So you get nobody should even sit here and say, Oh, somebody should go attack you get somebody should do this, somebody should do that. No, it's a freedom of speech. Let him be, let this man expose himself more. That's what I would do. Y'all let him. Expose himself more to the labor people. Labor people, labor people about nobody behind this man, nobody running after, nobody chasing him anymore. Instead of him doing, going to these people then to talk to them about about what happening in his district, he leaving them putting in. I know what that is not a bill. Something on the floor for judge. We are not using a, 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 a presidential suite. That's the judge. We are chasing that made these people feel sorry for him, voted for him. Judge, we are is this priority now, and not the people who voted for him. That let Yaka expose himself. And I'm sad that we're talking about it here, but this is what we need to do instead of all oh, saying Yaka should do that. Yaka should. They have already made Marcos look like somebody is saying, uh, you know, when we're little doing the, when we're in like the little kids when they sit when they're learning how to talk. Uh, ow, uh, ow. That's how Marcos look at now. It, it doesn't mean anything anymore. Thank so you. I don't think anybody should be chasing Yaka. You let let Yaka expose himself more to the Liberian people. That's all. That's all I think we should do. And people come here talking about because he's not he doing it or no. Y'all just missed the whole point. President Waka is not doing anything to Yeke. He's not running after Yeke. All oh, his cousin he been doing. That man haven't paid him one mind. Okay, but he's still insulting. But President we are and his folks were after him twenty four seven. That's why people felt like he was being treated wrongly. Everybody did not like what he was saying, but it fell for him. So you don't come in and come make it look like somebody's trying to be a hypocrite. <laughs> you're all of a sudden nothing a hero. But when you're when you're insulting your prophet, uh, uh we are your spiritual leader, everybody was shaking in their boots. But the other man, the other man, right? The other man, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, uh, guys, uh, we 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 need to go. Uh, okay, so let's take Mikael on and um, Swari. Mikael, go ahead and we bring Swari. Well, thank you, Nazin. Uh, well, the reason why we come on the platform every night is to set an example to, to our peers and, you know, our future generations, the people that look up to us. Most of all, yeah, I know we are father. And we let to do the best thing for our children to look up the good example of the life we live so they can never make mistakes that we made. Now, I said that to say something. Yaka Kolba, the, the reason why we we separate people in society is so many reasons number one Rekha Koroba is a representative he made eight eight thousand dollar us data in liberia he is giving car he been owned by the liberian people by the liberian tax money now he's an example and role model to the entire country that would be your honorable man that name honorable don't just come back from the blue sky you have to do something to attach, you know, for that need to be attached to you. Or you have to win certain level of society trust to attach that need to you. So you don't take it lightly. I think that uh, my sister just said, the reason Jaka Koduba and George Rad were on the thing, they were after each other. And everybody thought George Rad had more power than Jaka Koduba because he was the president. So everybody sympathized with him. It wasn't because people were praising him or what he was doing or what he was doing to women it was causing women by them and that why we should say I, i'm not saying he wasn't doing but he was doing it nobody was praising him for that but he was being protected and followed because of what the government was doing to him as a person number one number what two the, what the government did thank you my man was, no no i'm feeling don't don't say thank you i, I haven't feeling yet no, no, Vasco, Vasco, don't interrupt. Vasco, don't interrupt. Let me just list all the things for you. Why you want me to interrupt? Please, guys. We have to do it nicely. 
I can't our go audience, we have to do this thing for our people out there. Please don't interrupt. Uh, Mikael, go yeah. ahead. And then uh, Soiree will take us to the phone lines. Right. So what I was trying to say is this. Yaka is an honorable man. If for allegations, then, you know, somebody lay an allegation against you. This is not the proper way to address issue like that. Looking at his position and who he is in Liberia. It, it's a, because everything we say right now is allegations. Yeah, guy can come out and tell you, say, that lady is, that, that little girl, my sister, is, she, my sister, daughter, and my niece, or my, 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 whatever, yeah, or my family member. He can say all that. He got right to say that. He got right to defend himself whatever possible. But to go in the street as an honorable man, standing in the street, having a press conference, saying what he said, it's just unacceptable. It's no good example to anybody in Liberia for a lawmaker, a certain lawmaker, who people voted for this massively to be behaving like that. He just proving himself beyond reasonable doubt that he's not the person who ever take him to be, or he don't know how to do the job. He need to be rooted out for somebody else who knows the job to be there. So I'll just stop there. Sorry, let's hear you. Well, thank you. I'm glad that we are on the show always being safer to discuss issues of concern as generation. And before I go further, I want us to get reminded on this, the issue of our society and how society has influence over each and every generation that have come or that we come. You get it on the generation, uh, was a generation of this kind of a brutality with a behavior. As a matter of fact, I want to build a disclaimer to what Vasco said that y'all were on a platform, y'all were not being in disagreement or some of the things you can take. I was a member of the ANC. And Yeka, I want to make I want to make a clarity that Yeka has not been a product of the Unity Party. Unity supported the Unity Party in a Jeffrey in an election where he feed the Unity Party was the arm to take up President uh, Joseph Joseph, uh, that's George Weir, sorry. So Yeka, if Yeka is to be a product of any political party, it is the ANC that made him. And I want to believe that one of the reasons. You get resigned from the ANC. It was the reason of being brutal. Well, in many, many young people disagree with him. Our president have disagreed with Yaka in a meeting. And even proceeding to the very CPP that the ANC or other political party found or sharing, that we had an arm called the, the, the CPP brigade. I disagree with some of the way Yaka approaches issue which even dwelled into my removal from the chat room by, by uh, uh, Bob Brown. You know, you know, but don't, then, don't, 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 don't bring her, don't bring her ANZ so, You know, so that, I'm that, just, oh, yeah, 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 but, 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 but other zeros though, let, let, let forget about it, because let, let's see now. You bring a Baron Baron into the picture. I want for Baron Baron to go have press conference on or tomorrow. And we'll say, oh, yeah, on the tabata, then when I real concern, what we're talking about it. So <laughs> let's 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 go to the issue today. So yeah, I'm right. just bringing this in the picture as a premise to my talk to make people understand that young people have disagreed with Yaka. And we feel in our right mind the way of approaching issues, it can be different, different way. For me, I've not had privilege to just follow anybody in the name of following you because you criticize government. A solution based criticism is what we have been doing ourselves into. So we always dream, we have always cared about people who come with solution based. But Yege has always been accusatory in his statements, making all those things. And one of the things you guys not picking all here is let's forget about the insult because that has been Yege. Yege threatening the presidency that you're going to kill the president, the president. That was a very strong statement from a lawmaker. We're not looking at that. And Yeke, I'm told that Yeke has been through the speaker. Yeke has been invited by the AA, by the NSA. Yeke is saying Yeke will not, he's saying you're not good at. You know, 
at times people will say we should not get yak and relevant other stuff and things. I understand that we don't want to give Yaka that kind of fee for him to fee. So somehow, but we need to correct some of the mistakes along the way. I guess that the new Liberia now will not just follow anybody who will come. Take it from me today, nothing. Like I told you previously, Yaka will go down the drain like the like Ronnie Sherman and other politicians because of the thank train you. now in Liberian politics. Thank so you. don't tell me thank you. Let me conclude quickly. Thank you. Uh, uh, listen, no, 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 guys, no, 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 guys, 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 let's do this, let's do this, guys, we're, we're, on a, we're running a professional show, right? right, so we can be doing this, we can be doing this, Um, I know we, we want to lay our thoughts out and all of that, when we, when we are gradually getting, uh, you know, caught up with time, we we spend, let me look at the time, we spend, Two hours, 40 minutes. Our audience haven't spoken a word yet. They haven't participated in the show yet. So it's, it's, it's important that we just provide them, provide them a um, few minutes to make their input on what we're talking about. So uh, take 20 seconds to conclude. So tell us second quickly. You know... <laughs> I said sometimes, no problem. 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Sir. To conclude quickly, yes, sir. Sometimes that bureau, like I can always say, that bureau will always proceed the way it is because people have not identified what they bring to the table and what they actually want in society. So, like I said, like Yeke has always been that kind of human being. He doesn't know where he's going and where he should go as a lawmaker. So at the end result, we will continually getting these things coming up. And Mela Vasco then will come to say these are heroes. I mean, let's define heroes in a better way and know who to follow. Thank you. Yeah. What's the definition of hero? <laughs> you told him man, he had only 20 seconds, he respected the time. So yeah, guy yeah, is yeah. That guy is an That guy is not a hero. He impressing all the uh, people. Okay, so. So guys, uh, uh, please let's let's take a few minutes for our 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 audience. Let's let's have them to make their input. Uh, so guys, you can call us now zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. That's the local line, and um, the WhatsApp is up here. Call in and uh, make your input quickly. Um, let's take one minute per call. So we uh be able to wrap up as we are gradually running out of time now. Hello, you're live, your name, and where you call from? Hey, this is Hashim from Virginia. Okay, Hashim, go ahead. It's good to have you on. You know, why I was saying that you're like Gandhi, you're here, I mean, when you expose yourself, the first conference you're here calls, you know, it's called the issue of attacking personality. So, you're going to be here on 26th yesterday, because the only thing that we can do, anytime opposition comes, we win from the other party, we go back to opposition, like how you accept the deal with me. But I will uh, turn it around and come for you. We will call you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's see if we can take another person here quickly. Hello? Your name and where you call from? Good morning, Nelson. How are you? Yeah, morning. It's good to have you on, sir. Fine. Good evening to the panelists there. Uh, thanks for taking my call. This is Godwin calling in from Pennsylvania. Okay, Godwin. Uh, great discussion. Uh, yeah, as it relates to, uh, to the prohibition, the rate of prohibition issue by uh, the Justin Chamber, I think uh, while using Langway Road, I think he's just making fun. I would, I would tell him that he's just making fun out of Nora Finabolo. But uh, trust me, when the show up part reaches, you will not see you using that way right now. Okay. You will be in your bedroom and, and sleeping. And I think this is a call about issue. Uh, I think seditions, it, it's not strange that seditions will be dealing with Yaket today and what have you. I mean, we are, we are scared that, so we can take Yaket to be their hero and their, and their, role, and, and their role model. Thanks okay. for taking my call. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take two more from here, then we'll go to uh, our local lines. 
uh, to take a few from there and then we'll wrap up. Hello. Hey, Nelson, how are you? Yes, sir. Are we okay? Let's hear your name and where you call from. Okay. And I join you from Broad Island. So uh, I just want to make um two points quickly. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how many minutes I have if I have you 30 have, seconds or one You have one minute, sir. Okay. So firstly, I want to um condemn the uh the act of uh, the honorable man. I have not listened to the uh his uh press conference. But from the past, he has been you know, exhibiting that attitude and is continuing in this current um, administration. So I want to condemn that in the strongest term. Now, my second point has to do with what um, Rudolph, Rudolph said. Mm -hmm. There's something he made mention concerning, you know, taxes on those who own taxes, who would drive. Yeah, in that's a driver not paying taxes. They don't pay. They don't pay taxes to government. So I sorry, sorry, my man, I was right. wrong. Sorry. You, you have three, four vehicles that is running. You don't pay direct taxes to government. Your taxes yeah. is in your gasoline, fuel, oil, and whatever. And maybe so, uh, um, uh, yearly registration that you do. Yearly registration. registration. Yes. Yeah. So Thank I just you. wanted to make that correction quickly. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so you see, the people are listening. So if you dare slip, someone will correct you from the audience. Hello. <laughs> yes, hello. Yes, you're hello. live. Your name is where you call from. Yes, this is Imari. I'm calling from Virginia. And I want to make an appointment here. Okay. For the, uh, you know, let's say I, I'm confused here. Mm -hmm. If you if your property laws and call police right mm -hmm. and you tell the police say my property law did you tell the police which are the property law and the police got the the information but the police will just go all around and start grabbing if the person got bad cycle like because what i'm trying to say here if the government know that these things mm -hmm. really uh, uh, they got any information about this car, mm -hmm. why these people cannot go to the court and just draw it here and there? You know, you can just get on the street, you start arresting all cars, and you just, I don't know, I don't know. And somebody make up a point that in America, yeah, they can do that. But in America, when something got missed from you, when they come, they ask you, hey, how your car, what the car, the color, what your lesson place? You okay. know, this is a question. Or somebody got missing, they will ask you, wait, what kind of clothes they're pressing? Where? To get information thank before you. going up there thank to you. apply it. So thank you, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you, Emmanuel Mo. We appreciate you. Uh, we we'll take this one, and then we we'll go to our local lines. Okay, so let's take this one from the local line. Hello, your name and where you call from? Yeah, good morning. Morning, let's hear you. Yeah, this is Christopher City. I'm John from Central Africa. Christopher City, please go ahead. Let's hear you, sir. Uh, I want to speak on the Yeke issue. For the Rokoloba issue, mm -hmm. our brothers supported that they passed down. So that's why it's going to be. Ah. It not be so ah. Yeah. Anything that you support, you know, especially at the end. For me, I don't support the behavior. It to be people who are not thinking who will support you when it comes to voting for you. But that is not the best way to be insulting person all the time. Okay. So what it did yesterday is what happened today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hello. Your name and where you call. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, please go ahead. Let's hear you. Yeah, actually, I'm doing glad to be on the show tonight. Okay. I'll, I'll be happy to hear from my sister what she said. Alice said we should listen to your Korea talking to say, oh, yeah, listen to your Korea or not do this one. Okay. We hear about it, we are professional people. So let me hear your Korea and see why in your mind. You're going to go born by a woman. I'm a man born here. So if you have to listen to everybody, oh, call my course. 
you feel me? Even you insult somebody's mother, you should look at your mother first. So you can insult somebody. So if you can't be saying your mother, you can go ahead and insult your mother. Thank you. So Thank you very you much. Listen to his talk. They just focus on what they will do to save the country. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Let's go there and take this person. Hello, your name and where you call from? Yeah, good morning, Nelson. Uh, my name is James Birdie, and I joined your conversation for free time Sierra Long. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I yeah, actually, Nelson, I feel disappointed in we librarians for what we do. What we thought was right in the past should be right presently because uh, back then, other people criticized what Yeke was doing. During the election, we all knew who Yeke was. Even like uh, Yeke resigned from the campaign team from the United Party, but they still brought him in. Yeke told them that if they don't want him to talk, nobody should vote him. They still voted him. So it sounds so disappointing for us to like today be condemning Yeke action of what all he did or what he's doing because he's speaking against the United Party. That is very wrong. And uh, the little girl in question, I think some of us was to speak against that post that was posted by that little girl on photo because she was full of bully by we librarian because for one fight, you are not doing it to Yeke. We all know that Yeke is somebody who you don't care. So the best thing we could do here is to, oh, this photo you have post off for the little girl, let's take it down. Then publish in there and looking at the kind of person Yeke is. Thank so you. we look for our own talk for Yeke more. And I don't want people to say, oh, that you need a party or this party make Yeke uh, uh, president because, I mean, uh, lawmaker, because for one fact, the ANC and other political party did not fit in, in our district. Okay. So it wasn't just, it was just, just the United party that made Yeke a lawmaker. Thank all you. the political party fell, did not fit in any. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see you there. We'll take the last three calls and then we we'll wrap up. Uh, hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? This is a man. I call you from Twer Farm. Twer Farm. Go ahead, sir. Uh, this is a point where, so let me, let me condemn the action. This is why we ask all the Baskos on the show to the Basco go. Oh, you, you want you one of those that voted for Vasco to go? Yes. Okay, um, we'll, we'll do the vote. I have never known Vasco. I mean, Vasco don't talk that mature person. Uh, come on. Yes, please, please respect Vasco to now. Please respect Vasco to now. In the past, you have to attack by the government. And the 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 no, 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 no. Let's 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 not let's not do that. Let's not do that. You know, it will not it will not set any good example. You know, uh this is a um a, a society governed by laws, you know, and, and, and let's respect the laws. Let's let's use the law to uh, address to have our issues addressed. Hello. You are fine, that caller. Let's hear you, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> thank you so very much for the show. I'm Christopher Tubak, and I'm joining you from Manchikis Patrick Resident. Uh, my brother, I want to make it very clear and short. A year back, for the past six years, many people were right here in Nelson, you gone? Yeah, everybody keep repeating the same thing, so I guess that's what it's going You don't never. One person, two persons here. Nelson? You can take over. I think Nelson now go. I, I guess that was imposing, right? Yeah. yeah. Nelson's not the show, but you can make it. You go. Just a bug out of you. You need double dose of Jesus Christ. <laughs> you yeah, do. Now don't, now don't call up on the yeah. uh, uh, I mean, there was the, so so there were also some good things going closing, on. Closing, right? Are we closing now? Yeah, we're closing after the call. Yes, sir. That was the yeah. last call. 
Oh, okay, yeah, then I will just close. I mean, I don't mind. Yes, guys. Um, I mean, I think it's a good show, and uh, I mean, um, so I don't even know what 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 do I even say because the whole you're getting now really made me angry. But um, mm -hmm. I mean, I think we we all should name and shame Yeke. Uh, he, we should not applaud his action. And Vasco, personally, I mean, I think you should. I mean, I, I don't don't know why you will, will make him your profile only because he is a <laughs> But guys, so guys uh, with all of this, guys, I think I think so they, um, I think we can try to wrap up now. Yes, um, I am closing. What are we doing? You're late. Oh, thank, <laughs> I am closing thank you, already. Thank Nelson. you, thank you, my co moderator. Yes. So also, I mean, just before I leave, um, I think uh, uh this government we have. I, I was I was one person who had issue with the fact that 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 it was taking too long for them to confirm um, superintendents. But I mean, we did witness today that there were a couple of of them confirmed, so that's a good good start. No, they were yeah, they were not confirmed. Just, actually, it was the hearing that was held. Yeah, yeah, okay, I meant the hearing. They can be be confirmed yeah. one day. When I mean confirmed, yeah. I meant the, the hearing. They were in hearing today. Thank I think they yeah. from Pond County, from Nima County, and some other. So I think that's a good start. Thank you guys though. Uh, I mean I am going to I am going to be angry tonight. No, you know the man the man stress on the bone county aspect because the man oh, oh the man John also. Yeah, the man, the, oh, the, oh, my you can just definitely. be closed and be running off. Yeah, you can say we have you got to No, let me know about about to talk in what what is not even necessary here tonight. Oh, why should you go in the background? We won't congratulate oh man you for you in the background. But yeah, so yeah, R Rudolph, Rudolph, Rudolph's uh mom was uh was 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 one of those that uh, went to the hearing today. Oh really? So, Rudolph why is are you running out. No, that, that, that is immaterial. That is immaterial, Nelson. We are talking talking about the labyrinth group. Yeah, but the Labra issue that Labra Labra is, is indirectly an official of government. Indirectly. For, 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 for ball country. Congratulations. Oh. So, um, yeah. So, if you saw the man stressing on putting so much emphasis on ball country. Like Point of correction, that is my aunt, not my mom. My aunt. My man. In, in, in Africa, you're yeah, thinking like my aunt. Like, so, like, don't bring American thing here. Let me no, tell you now. I don't, don't want that. No, you know what, Nelson? I don't want when I, I start to talk, then they say, oh, because he's my government. No, I don't, that's not, I don't want that. It can still be because you're Indian government. So yeah. that's why we can't run away from that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's great. So, uh, Emmy, who's going? Make a, make a one. Okay, well, uh, thank you, guys. But uh, it's been a great show, and we always come here to make a point to make sure Liberia is a good country and we, we live by law in order that. Well, one thing I want to say here tonight is about the asset recovery thing is the judge did not say you all were wrong to do what you're doing. Say you're going to live by the law. That doesn't contain you to doing nothing wrong. So just do what you have to do. The asset recovery thing was established for a reason. And let that reason be accomplished. Let librarian people see it. So the next person that coming after the government was you know the precedent already been set so they can follow something that will benefit the country. So go ahead and do your job. Number two, Yaka, like I said, he's an example to many generations. And the entire country look at them as honorable people. Then he do the honorable thing. And having said that, the way you kept proceeding, if he continue. It won't be able to make it in 2029. I can clearly see it. <laughs> Tell you, I would just declare it. Let me make it. He love, he love the job, but he won't be able to make it. That, that's just what it is. Because <laughs> this is not a way to be honorable, man. So thank you. Um, I continue. Go ahead, um, thank you. Sorry. Well, thank you. I think it was a great show. Thanks to all of the caller for their concern, opinion. I just want to say that. In my closing, if English is hard for anybody, <laughs> it's Eugene Nambe. Eugene Nambe who feel that, that uh, 1990 propaganda can still hold the people 
you see the thing very glaring, you want to turn English other than in your own understanding. The ability that you don't have to make Mr. We are one. But turning some things other than you want to turn things other than now today is very frustrating. What we want to say are people like we can always close this. There's always a hope. There will always be these things to honor my government. As a recovery come, you see people coming with all that the propaganda media we pay, you will see all sorts of things coming to honor my this process. For for one thing, me, I'm so happy about the whole asset recovery thing is it went to the court and it has brought up many things like you and myself without even know of. And then they can always say, if you hold broke, you have hold bush. So that's the path we on now. So we're gonna see more things coming up. So Labyrinth keep the hope alive. Uh, Mr. Baga will do what he can do to set the pace for young people. The issue about Thank you is always be the way it's like, and don't feel deterred. I mean, let's keep going as a country. Thank you very much. Please go. Thank you. Look, you see, I see that one minute. I see every one of you guys bashing a yeke. Look, the issue about people insulting people, parents, mother, women. They have who have never seen no kind of a politics in Liberia. Same we had them. No, no, let's see. I, I get in there. Those kind of a politics were not never in Liberia. It came into play when President We are became president. And that was the time. The same group of people, the United Party people, because I know there was an explanation given. By the other two people that can cause man, how the whole man cause Beneki into politics. They explain that thing. And I know key people supported these people. What's your explanation? Okay. Oh, they said the only thing I will help help. No, you uh, they said the only thing I will help president. We are feeling that could cause it, man. So it was under the CDC government, man caused Beneki into being. And like I said. Guys, 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 wait, 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 wait. That whole, that whole, that whole Nisa you're calling say is, is, is some kind of way, my man. No, let's, let's forget about what can I, what can I call what, what, no. Okay, yeah, man, it's it's man. Yeah. Man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah. They bar attitude came into being when President Weir was president. They have, they have grown in a way that it's difficult for us to stop it. And based on that president, we have passed that, that law. That, how do that uh, can come out? Law. So it's difficult. Thank you, Vasco. It's difficult. And we don't want your look, this country, you need to just leave Yeke alone. You're yeah. just leaving yeah. alone. One second. Thank you, Vasco. Thank you. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Charlie. All uh, wait, Amy, what are we doing? Just closing. <laughs> you keep going eating that pepper soup, and you come back again. <laughs> no, I think Vasco is Vasco is messing with my internet today. I don't know. That's Vasco is trying. You see. <laughs> but no, it was a beautiful show. I know, like my for some reason, I kept on going in and out, but I had time to listen. To our brother Vasco, it's always nice having Vasco on because, oh my goodness. Thank you, Mama. Vasco. It's always good having you on because, you know, in my crew, darling, I can hear some tabata sometimes, but it's, it's all still good. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good having you on. I just like how when you make your point and you contradict yourself, but the show is not about you. So, um, mm -hmm. Looking forward to discussing Liberia all the time and looking forward to, you know, the Senate meeting tomorrow. And I think one of our brothers said it, it has to be like something really smooth for them to pass that war crime court tomorrow. So I will be watching and the Liberian people will be watching as well. All those lawmakers, the people put you in power for you to represent them. 
so the people won't walk around code so there should be no if or bother about it you should go over there tomorrow and pass the war crime code it should be simple so yeah nice show and before before i go uh amy before you take over i want to give a birthday shout out to my oh, we'll do that at the end of the show okay did you get well, a picture we'll do that at the end of the show yeah I'll okay, Nelson has my picture, but okay, okay. I see Nelson, I got scared a little bit. Oh, he, okay. he got it. Yeah. Got it baggy eating. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, Emil, Emil, that can't on the show for the next two months. Now, what you did today? Who <laughs> will not come for the next two months? All right, let me do my closing, guys. I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, for right, me, when I come on here every now, I'm always angry. So, I'm not even going to uh, sugarcoat anything. <laughs> I'm Be always angry. angry. And the reason I'm always angry is because we have always had criminals running our country. And for some of us, I was blessed and fortunate to have traveled outside of Liberia. We are, I, I have constructive jealousy. I see elementary students in the U.S. reading better than our junior high students. Junior high students are more capable and competent than our senior high, uh, senior high students. So I'm angry every night I come on here. I'm not even going to sugarcoat. I'm very angry. We elect criminals that suppress our people. But they use us to go against each other and just keep fighting amongst ourselves. <laughs> and they, it, then we, we don't pay attention to what they are not doing for us. They are not putting drugs in, in the hospitals to treat our sick. They are not creating an environment for emergency medical services and security to protect our people. They are not creating a better ed educational system. But they enrich themselves. But the, the ordinary librarians continue to suffer, but then they continue to go into their very corners and say, oh, I'm a CDC person, I'm a unity party person, I'm an LPP person. But when the people we elect get in office, you remain poor and destitute, nothing to show for yourself. This country be in peace now for over 20 years, but Montserrat County is one of the smallest county in Liberia, but has the most is the most populated county. Why are people not moving outside? When investors come, you think they will all sit down in Montserrat County? Montserrat is not, it's just so big, it cannot take everybody. Until the country open up, nothing will happen. But you just sit there and, and we go into our corners. That's why I'm always angry when I come on here. Because our legislators, they are criminals. Our leaders, they are criminals. That's why we hope that President Barca will, will be the last bus stop. And will continue to keep an eye on his administration. So let's forget about policy. Whenever election is over, we focus on the person that's in office. Because when that person is, is successful, we all succeed. But we know Absolutely. there's no track record of them being successful. That's why our country is very poor and dirty and disgusting because of the people we elect. Thank so you. I was angry when I come on here. Thank yeah. you. So, um, me, right? Yeah, okay. you. So, yeah, ladies I'm and gentlemen, on. thank you so much for today. Um, yeah, so we look forward to watching the Senate tomorrow. And um, I also look forward to um, everyone with this so-called moral all of a certain. They're yelling somebody. They claim some other people were well, not something they didn't do it yesterday. But you're doing the same thing that you want to hold somebody accountable. I'm confused. But anyways, um, yeah. So, uh, um. We're talking about Marcos. I remember uh, Akara Grace, Akara Gray, and a few people taking casting yeah. with female or something. So I don't know when it started on the person that we had. So we we'll just put that to rest, but I just wanted to point that out that disrespecting women started when uh, Mother Ellen Johnson Sirleaf was president. And grandmother yeah. Yeah. was being denigrated. People really? were oh. something that. So that's not even come here with that type of title. But it's not an unprecedented. Yeah, it's that under. You go be yourself, like my sister Shirley said. You support what you are. It nobody can make you anything. If you are that person, you are that person. Blank, blank period. So I think that what um they call for women uh, uh getting up 
the general minister or ministry or whatever, whoever they are, all the bit about women association. This is the time that you're supposed to get up now and now when they're writing book for Clyde Wea, explaining how her husband's saying something and, and insulting you This is the time. Yeah, a lawmaker was seen with a minor and this little girl has been uh, 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 or something on the social media because of that. And I think I need to wake up and say something about it. As a lawmaker, they should be protecting our children, our sisters. They're not to be taking advantage of them. He need a proper investigation. I don't care whatever he his insult. I, I mean, I'm nobody. Come for me. Please do. I don't care about that. But I think something needs to be done about that. And the right people in authority need to do something. He can go ahead and so whoever he wants to insult. But taking advantage of little girls, that's just to another level. That anybody, even if it's Joseph Yuma Buaka, he should be held accountable for it. Thank you. And we look forward. We're here. We're going to be here. Continue to... Um, who shall lead us to do better? And we need to stop there. My party, my destiny, because Liberia is Liberia is for mm -hmm. all of us. When one person feels, we all feel. This party thing is just too much, and, and, and we got to let go and think about Liberia. Thank you, guys. And I that Naya won't, won't stop the party thing. Well, Thank you, um, I, do I look like a party thing? Do, you, do you look like you don't say thing alike? Do I look so, like you so, are not saying so, alike? So, 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 so you should so know you, me. I'm not a party person. If we are you doing well, if you don't know, I was doing well. You, 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 you don't support any political party, but Vasco is a staunch supporter. Uh, but by the way, do you so guys know that? Do you guys know that, Emmy? Do you guys know that when they were building president, we are condomin uh, uh, condominium. Our brother Vasco is one of those that hold the same for that place. He said I that. I believe it. He said it. I kept telling you about it. He said that. Fast I mean, and we had to come back. This. We had to come back the next day to apologize to Vasco because Vasco said the the buildings down there were what seventeen, right? You said what twenty seven. You 17. said what? it was seventeen structures. Vasco did it for free. It was seventeen <laughs> structures. I hear father now. But 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 uh, uh, I'm a leader. We want to send out a few birthday greetings. Um, Sh Shirley, uh, can you come here? What was uh, yes, okay, like so them. it's a birthday greeting to uh, Vivian Kawe, right? Okay, so a special birthday greeting to uh, Vivian Kawe. Vivian Kawe, you celebrate your birthday today. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Birthday birthday tomorrow tomorrow on the ninth. Tomorrow. Okay, but in happy Liberia birthday. here, it's, all, it's already the night. Yeah, night like already the already. So yeah, happy birthday to her from Liberia. That is my beautiful sister, um, part mm -hmm. of our ministry, Successful Praise Ministry. So this is a birthday shout out from all of us, from our CEO, um, Minister Aram, and all of the members of Successful Praise Ministry. But especially from your sister, with all the love, happy birthday, sis. Celebrating you all month. Happy birthday, happy birthday Vivian. Okay, so that's a great many, many, many. one. And uh, the final one here is a birthday greeting for Beverly Nimle. April 8th. Beverly Nimle, April 8th uh, was your birthday. Or is your birthday? I think it's yeah, April so, so 8th. Yeah, so today is my birthday to us. So happy birthday uh, to you, Beverly Nimle. Happy birthday, uh, beautiful. Let's wish you as, you as you celebrate your natal day today. We wish you all the very best, uh, Beverly Nimle, as you celebrate your birthday today. Beverly? And, yeah. Happy birthday, so, Beverly. Happy birthday. So having said that, um, we want to say thanks to everyone tonight. It's uh, it's been a great show. We look forward to having an awesome interaction tomorrow. Thank you for being here, Vasco. My thank baby you for birthday is on the tenth. Yeah, we got to bring the guys, the, the guys' latest photos. Make everyone thanks for being here. Uh, Bida Suarez, Bida, Bida, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Uh, the man is always late to get the link. Mr. Francis Jabate, we appreciate you. You always let us send a uh, link. Don't make me throw the razor. Our own sister, Shelly. 
Now, say before weird. you before you kick us out, I just want to ask: Is it okay for us to wear our dark glasses too? Okay, you don't wear green, oh, but actually, uh, it depends, right? It depends because uh, some people do that for the light, but what's you know? wrong with glasses now? Saying nothing what? wrong, yes, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's because it's, it's you know, okay. tomorrow when I come on the show, I don't want uh, faster to see my face too, so I'm gonna wear my dark glasses. Tomorrow, I'll be just... clear. No, today we're discussing Yekka. Yekka is something. So then you don't come with the one of these. We're discussing about Yekka. So I keep with. <laughs> and then you will be lying, right? What's up? We appreciate all of the folks in our comment section. Albert, 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 Malware, David, Wokolo. We appreciate it, David, George, James. Um, even the head of that James. Watch whatever the name is. We're calling the men in The head of Jim George. Let's see, most of the people in the comment session are hearing me today. Most of the people hearing you today. Okay, so guys, let's do this. Let's do this. We're gonna take. You're hearing me when we're discussing it. The answer recovery something. Yeah. So we're gonna take. We're gonna take twenty comments. No, they they should get something. They won't be present. How many people names? How many people want to ask for me? Wait, I want to now say well, I, I want to make sure that I want to be see here. Solution, bury your head. How many people want for Vasco to remain here? If you want for Vasco to remain here, comment yes. If you want the man to go, comment no. The people are, the people are supposed, the people people are supposed to be most of them going. Yeah. So the first one, hey, Pocas, he says, yeah, James, 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 George, whatever his name is, he's still there, Vasco, for you. And I know Miss Blessing, that one said that too. Uh, but too. Someone said Vasco should. Uh, no Vasco. So we got three all saying Vasco should go. Three persons saying Vasco <laughs> should go. I think Vasco is so, a comedian. He should stay around the rest of it. You see how they rescue people here for y'all we let's show you head for it. So uh <laughs> Francis is it who else should Vasco yeah, somebody that big no play? of course with James George. What do you think we thought you were gonna come here? Yes, yeah. You know what I can hear? Yes, I was saying <laughs> yeah. Tamu, uh, uh, Tamu, Koyen said Vasco should be here. Okay. David Wolo said Vasco should go. Look at my brother. Vasco should remain. <laughs> <laughs> the guys said Vasco should remain. You know, cash out these people that see Mofo so you can stay. You see the people. Lin said Vasco should remain. Imagine. It is a good one. It's a good one. It's a bad one. And then we're going to go crazy, bro. Yeah, me, you know, Vasco Cash App can work certain time or so. Vasco, Vasco, send Cash App. Vasco, second, you send Cash App. I'm not going to be here. Vasco, get caught. Man, I don't know. I got to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Prince. February King said Vasco. Vasco is very rude. Vasco is very rude. Please forgive him. <laughs> he did Vasco oh, podcast before. Not this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Koya Lova said Vasco should remain, right? Koya Lova mm -hmm. let you. Somebody uh, said a double no. This is the one. Let Vasco <laughs> stay on the platform because he's the newest comedian on the block. James <laughs> 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 Walker, James Walker said Vasco is most See, favored in Mama, Dutch. Mama like oh. you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. that. Yeah, yeah, most I agree so, with that comment. Vasco is most of that. Elegant design say Vasco. We will pray for Vasco. I play like he's there. Yeah, see, I told you I got more people that love me. Yeah, the rest of the train. Yeah, but I want for Vasco to me. Oh, but Vasco. See, you all want somebody. You need to buy this. Vasco told you. Vasco said he already famous. I got more people here. Support me. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they just be sorry for you. 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 They just be sorry for no, they no, they were lying when they were camping, they were, right? Oh, your campaign <laughs> and your message resonated with the people, and now they put kick us up. But because so, you know, you know, so say, say you popular, you should go run for a representative. Vasco, they say you should stay <laughs> so you can lay. Oh, the churches, okay. 
I don't know what we're doing. So we go to this <laughs> thing. Oh, 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 who <laughs> free store? Eh? You no, I can't drink. Elegant design. Thing, you keep your you see that different. We can't So, guys, we want to say thank you, man. Thanks to everyone. We appreciate everyone. Most intelligent yeah. lawmaker in our who? So, is it a little bit? Yes, you are not going. What kind of crumb you are going to suffer to my hair without him? We want to have nothing. That's my view. You say I won't do now. I'm not crying. You can't come in now with a like gay little picture. Have to say it. We eat it. We're discussing we the crime like tomorrow. Like tomorrow. The show over today. Yeah, y'all bring our crime. Oh. So, guys, we want to say thanks to everyone. Thanks to say, uh-uh. Now that you are taking all three of the guys out, plus my friends have been going in and out, I still need more time. So... So, Swari, Swari, Swari will be the first man. You see Swari camera clear to I don't know where he's sitting. We can be No, my boss, I'm not get beat. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Okay, I'm trying to get this stuff up. Uh Shirley, please don't go. Kind of remain on. Oh, let me get this stuff up, 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 okay. up, up, up. Um. Okay. So. So thanks to everyone for watching. <laughs> bye bye. Have a good night. We'll be here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.